I remember the first time I heard No Zodiac, that's who they reminded me of. Oh, fuck. Makes sense. R.I.P. Oh, shit. You've killed us. I can't believe we jumped to our death slide. I can't believe I was the one who didn't knock shit over. That was my big ass this is, sigh. This is fucking hog. <laughs> this is Tom's Badonka Dunk. Was that, were you, uh, did you see the dude who was javelin in the Olympics? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then oh, his, oh, his, his dog. Yeah. yeah. His yes. fucking big French dick. <laughs> really? Yeah, he dick, lost because his dick his caught dick the pole. His dick hit the whole thing and knocked it off. <laughs> it's so good. Dude, <laughs> I was honest. I was seriously watching. No, I was watching the high jump. Okay. I think. Pole vaulting. Is that the same thing? No. No. We run similar. the big stick. That's pole vaulting. High jump is no no, no pole. pole. Okay, I was watching one of the pole. Because okay. he got, brought his Because the dude broke a record, uh, or he got, like, the highest, but then they were like, he wanted to try to go for the world record, so mm. they reset up the pole for him to go again. Just a little yeah. shits and giggle. I forget where the fuck he was from. He looked, like, either Italian or Greek. Oh, man. The big dick guy was from France. Damn, really? That's fucking great. <laughs> There's literally like photographic evidence. That's fucking funny. You could see it yeah. flopping oh, yeah. in his like loose shorts. <laughs> oh, uh, you'd, oh, you'd think he uncut. would have like so good, dude. That's so hot. You would think he would have some sort of tighter <laughs> compression short situation going on just, as an athlete. Just hulking veins. Well, <laughs> aside you know, from the fact that he's well endowed, <laughs> but just think it's like, look, even if I get, even if I don't get a medal, they'll still be talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, he didn't finish in any high spot, but you can see He's, he won. Like the women are like, <laughs> there were we headlines. Don't, we don't care. <laughs> we do not care. Gold medal. <laughs> yeah, what what medal? <laughs> <laughs> Was he cut or uncut? Probably uncut. Probably uncut. Yeah. Uh, so you can it see is, his bell. It is France. So <laughs> I see London. I see France. I see what's squirming in your underpants. <laughs> um, last time Matt was here, mm-hmm. uh, I brought up. How I bombed in front of a little kid doing street stunts. Mm-hmm. Brent might not know about listening to this. Oh, no, I, I did. Well, st- you know, what street stunts. Little kids just doing fucking watch it. Yeah, man. Now I had a redemption. Yes, I had a redemption yesterday. Uh, was it the same kid? No. Uh, we were going into a grocery store over on um, Pennsylvania Avenue, or like a, just a little corner mart, and there's this like little kid just outside. Do you kept getting like getting up on this bench they had out front and like scooching to like he's on his feet, standing on this bench, getting his feet to the very edge of this bench, and then just jumping off. But he kept looking around and looking down like he was like on like a 40 foot drop, but it was like less than a foot. He's yeah, spotting like, his landing. And he's yeah. just fucking like yelling to like papa, papa. He's a little brown Mexican kid. I don't know, but he was, he was Spanish of some sort. Mm-hmm. He's, and like the dad was just on the phone, not giving a fuck, right? He's definitely so this, not Puerto Rican or it would have been Poppy. So this kid just fucking, he did his little jump and he landed, fucking nailed it, right? Fucking and he's like, looks over and his dad's just like not paying attention. Then he just like turns his head and catches my eye and I was just like, <laughs> gave, him gave him the horn, him the horn. And he <laughs> just fucking smiled ear to ear just like yeah just somebody banging like somebody saw how <laughs> fucking sick that jump was yeah nailed and it i was just like i didn't say anything because i don't want to fucking bomb again mm. so i was just like gave him the devil horn yeah less is more yeah. and yeah. he was just like you received redemption. he didn't like fuck he was just smiling like, he's like yeah yes mm. that fuck rocks you. yeah so i, I felt like i, re- I redeemed myself liked it so that was like an epilogue to the story i told matt last time that's a good there. ending oh yeah, yeah. Like it was just funny. Or is it the beginning? Just him looking around, like he's like, like looking over, almost looking over his shoulder, putting his testing for wind and mm-hmm. shit, and he's just, <laughs> he's fucking just jamming. And Dad didn't even fucking care, man. I was like, you got a daredevil on your hands here, pal. <laughs> like you better fucking learn to appreciate him. Next thing you, you know, there's cartwheels going on right? that bench. <laughs> fucking stuntman, shit. He's got flames shooting out of his heelys. You know? Come on, man. Damn. If I was like, what do you call that? A philanthropist type of dude? Yeah. I would get that kid some soap shoes. <laughs> I was like, grind on, brother. <laughs> grind on. Well, if the dad's not careful, next thing you know, he's going to be drifting in a Civic. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, Cosmo, like, why the fuck are you, gr- like, drifting in a Civic in front of this Walmart? He's like, because my dad never paid attention to me when I was a little boy out front of that pantry one mart. He'll be lucky to be an accurate kid. No regret. That's why I got this murdered out fucking Civic. Chambered. With a dream catcher on the fucking rear view. I hate so good. I hate a camber. Oh, so do I. A what? So fucking what? stupid. Wait, a what? Cambered. It's when the wheels are like 
You know, when like the wheels. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew a couple. Of guys, I knew that's what it was called. There's there's caster and camber. Camber is. I've never seen the other one. Caster. You, you won't. No, it's. Un- why would you do neither, that? Neither are desirable, yeah. but one is way less desirable. Why would you do either though? You wouldn't. No. 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 Like, like, is there a reason to do that? It's just for or show. Look? It's for show. No. Oh, that's it's silly. It's so bad for your tires and your car. Yeah. Shit, it just man. destroys everything. What if you? Man. Yeah. What if you cantered one side and cambered? The caster, other side, caster and camber. What if you did one on one side and the other on the other side? Would you just so go you like, you, could side, you could be like a sidewinder, <laughs> yeah. like a yeah, side. So you would just, yeah, you would just be like that. I right? can't believe somebody hasn't tried that yet. Maybe we'll, we'll be the first. There we go. What's up? <laughs> yo, it's like yo. Have you seen? I got ramps, <laughs> dude. How sick is that? Maybe like yo. Have you seen Tom go left lately? <laughs> yo, all right. That was a great episode. Let's go fuck our cars up. <laughs> <laughs> Five minute episode, <laughs> just just Tom. And then it's just a picture of us on the side of the road, like. <laughs> and Tom's just piecing out deer on the side of the road, just like, "What's up, pussies?" <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I never. So damn, I can't wait. How to does do that not that. fuck your car up? It does. Oh, it does. it does. Yeah, it does. It does. It's stupid. Like yeah, like you said, it fucks up the alignment, the shocks, the tires, so bad. Oh, you the shocks you bl- and the chakras. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your chakra's fucked. Good and then, like, Good all one. of them have yeah. expensive rims on them, too. Mm-hmm. So, you know, those are getting fucked. You aren't they getting scratched if they're doing the one that's going it's, this it's, way? It's fucking it's everything pr- up. It's yeah. prone. You're to blowing it. tires, like, because it's only wearing on that one little edge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I then you're getting pulled over constantly. Yeah. It's like, if I was a cop, I'd be like, look at this dickhead. <laughs> I hung his... Total your car on a speed bump. <laughs> yeah. I hung out with this kid in a high school. His name was Keith Wiseman. He was just a giant person with huge muscles, and he was like one of the. Hardest people that ever walked the face of the earth, but he was just so silly. Mm-hmm. Oh, and friends of ours are show, but like just fancy rims, just like fucking just these beautiful rims, and they're all worried about stuff. He's like, oh, those rims are real nice there. And he would just grab like a handful of gravel or a rock and just throw it like at the rims. Oh my God. Hilarious. It's like, but if it was me. <laughs> <laughs> but like he wouldn't do it to like people he actually liked. Mm-hmm. He would just do it to weirdos. And he's like, oh yeah, check. And then just throw gravel at it. <laughs> Jeez. And there's like they get mad. He's like, "What? You're not gonna hit that shit on the road? I thought you were a man. Just like we just instigate the shit out of it." I was like, "Jesus mm. Christ, dude! Oh no, man, that's asking for too much." Yeah. yeah. Well, he found himself in physical altercations quite a bit. Altercations. Altercations. Yeah. It's like when you fight somebody, but also do math mm-hmm. at the same time. <laughs> oh. It's like I will punch you in the face and then find the square root of you, and I'll divide <laughs> it by two. <laughs> <laughs> See this tangent? Oh, oh there's two tangents. I'm going to find the inverse. Mm. I'm going to obtuse your fucking face, buddy. Y equals you're a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, math rules. <laughs> math is pretty sick, dude. I mean, you saw Will Hunting. That dude was just solving. He was good as shit, man. Solving shit? <laughs> man, uh, I, don't, I, I don't like that shit. What, Will Hunting? Math. <laughs> and, and that. You don't like Will Hunting? I'm not buying it, dude. <laughs> He had a calculator. It's a fictional fucking movie. He had a calculator it's the a, whole time. It's a work of fiction. There's a calculator. Yeah. Right on that desk. I saw it. That would be funny as shit. Like inside his little fucking Dickie's work shirt. He just had a little fucking calculator. It's a, gra- a graphing no. calculator. It's the Casio watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. The one you can also play worm on. Yeah. yeah. It is of the time. I bet he yeah. did have that on. Not snake. Worm. <laughs> Check it, it out, dude. I got number crunchers on this. Like, fuck it. Snake and Worm are the same game. Right? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just uh, depends on like, who put it out. You mean if it was a Casio or a Nokia phone? Yeah, like the one would be Snake, one would be Worm. Mm-hmm. On DOS, it was Snake. Yeah. Pepsi, Cola. I only ever, I only <laughs> ever played it as Snake. I don't, I don't want a large Farva. <laughs> yeah. God damn it, dude. So, oh, yeah, so, so French man's di- a French man's dick get you guys a Olympic fever? I mean, oh, dude, yeah. I'll send you the pick. Yeah. It's the only thing that could definitely be. flooded my basement. Somebody, <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get my shop vac. <laughs> uh, apparently, breakdancing is in the Olympics. Yeah, it was. What the fuck? It's was? already. It's. A, they already said that's. That's it. They're not thank, doing it anymore. Thank God. Gonna, no. What's going on in L.A.? What are they introducing? I just saw a bunch of pictures of some girl from Australia. No, it, it's yeah. It's gone beyond that now. That uh yeah they they because she I don't has know a funny name. Ray Gun. Uh, I thought I was, I was going to say Wingnut or something. But, that's, yeah. that's good too. Ray Gun's way cooler. It is. <laughs> and she has a PhD in like cultural movement or something like that. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, man. I have my bachelor's in pop locking. <laughs> 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 
Dude, wait till they so. learn. Wait till they learn about Michael Winslow. Like you know how like <laughs> how fun and quirky it was that Jamaica had a bobsled team. <laughs> Don't you see it kind of the same way about an Australian break dancer? Yes, that's a, that movie fucking writes itself. Yes. And I mean, I'd watch it. And it's also an open invitation for Yahoo Serious to get his career back. <laughs> Dude, is he still alive? Young Frankenstein. I believe so. Oh, I hope so. Cool Runnings too. <laughs> One for the cool rhythm, breaking. one for the wrong. Young rhyme. Einstein, by the way. What's that? I thought it was Young Einstein. No, but the yeah. actor's name. Wasn't he, I think, was he Young Frankenstein or was he Young Einstein? Young Einstein. Oh, Young Einstein. No, but what the fuck was the guy's name? Yeah, who's serious? serious? Yeah, all yeah. right, never mind. I'm sorry, I'm stoned. That's yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I'm Yahoo Serious. It was Yahoo Serious. <laughs> yeah, Yahoo. I'm Lyco Serious. <laughs> what was his other movie? He had Young Einstein, and then there was another one. I remember, was it, it might have been Young Einstein. I remember one where he was like, Young they were Einstein? making pies with kittens in it. That was Young Einstein. Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm. Wasn't there one who was playing like an electric uh, violin? That's Young That's Einstein. That's Young Einstein also. Yeah. I could have sworn he had a second movie. He, he, he did, but I don't remember I want to say was. he was in like Crocodiles on D4. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Took over like from Paul Jim, Hogan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got rid of Mick Dundee and just brought in Yahoo Se- Crocodile Serious. This is kid. The name rides itself. I think Crocodile Dundee should go up against Coyote Ugly. Mm. Hmm. That's the movie mashup we need. Fuck the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We need that. Knifey Spoonie. Who's got fucking <laughs> Knifey Spoonie before? <laughs> Who's got internet connection? I need to know if Yahoo Serious had another movie or my head's going to fucking explode. My head's already exploding know. because that name is made up. It's not real. You think? <laughs> Honestly, wait, though. It can't be. He is Australian. It could be his real name. <laughs> they have things called kookaburras down there. Yeah, they're tight as fuck, too. You're tight as fuck. Oh, what do they call white trash down there? Like, Bogans. Bogans. That Bogans. Is. Yeah. yeah. And uh, abos. That's no, a bad word. Now. Abos is very racist. He's going to get punched. Uh, Reckless <laughs> Kelly. Reckless Kelly. It was a Western, wasn't it? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a Western. But uh, Evan Williams fucking has uh, friends that come out from Australia. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, all the time, and they they're fucking awesome. James, James and, and uh, Nathan, yeah, yeah, they, all the time. Yeah, they come dude. out a lot. Huh? From coming from Australia, yeah, they, they come at least. They're, once a uh, year. James is in a, a band called Deliquest. It's like a death metal band. They He's in a rule. hardcore band called Judge by Twelve. And they're both very good. Oh, He's the, the fucking an- man. The answer to Carried by Six. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, he, he's a fucking great. He comes out for like a lot of the fest and shit, and sometimes he just pops out for no reason. They just come over for a month. Yeah, they're fucking cool ass dudes. Yeah, yeah. Ima- imagine being able to have holiday like that. And exactly. but the first time I heard Bogan was uh, I went and saw Full of Hell down Baltimore, and they had like friends of theirs from Australia just out visiting, mm. and they're all just out. We're all just out on the out front of the venue just shooting the shit, and um, they were like to- like they told me about what Bogan meant. And then they kept calling each other sick cunts. Mm-hmm. And some girl just got super pissed off about it. And she was just like, you really shouldn't say this, 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 this. And the kid, he's just, just he's like, he's taking it in. He's like listening to her, like nodding his head. And as soon as she's done talking, he's like, oh, yeah. And that's it. And she was just like, um. She's like, she, just she's like, pan he's, stared he's just like face. you should have uh-huh. saved this, 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 this. He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's it. It's like, it's kind of like, I guess that's the like the Australian version of, oh, really? You know, it's just like that. It was just, fuck. she what? wanted him to react like somebody. He's like, oh, yeah. What's, what's their lead paint stare? The Outback stare? I don't know, man. It was fucking funny, though. You gave her the Outback stare? Like, what, did you think you are going to teach him a lesson? Because I think like she was like, you shouldn't say cunt. He's like, oh, I wouldn't talk to you. I was talking to him over there. And she was just like, ah, oh, you shouldn't say that. Man. Oh, yeah. Man, <laughs> the, fucking hysterical. I think th- that... I know Dylan had to turn around and walk away because he was just like... You could just see his shoulders like vibrating from laughing. It was fucking hysterical. <laughs> That's great. It was funny. I think the the old uh, I wasn't talking to you should trump every argument. Yeah. Brian from Iron Price has the best thing for that situation. Matt knows what I'm talking about. I don't remember, but... Somebody will just be talking, right? Just going on. He'll just, like, look at them and run his finger down their lips like oh, that. <laughs> yeah. It's happened to me. And... That has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. He's done that to me. Just shut me up. And there's... Like, it works. It works. You're just like... Even when you're mad. It's like when you pour water on a cat. <laughs> You're just like freeze or like what the he's fuck just, do I do? You start shaking and run away. He's like, what do I? 
Uh, it's like you hit your factory reset. It's fucking nuts. It's funny. He's he ever it. so gentle. Just yeah. Just like I think it works. So it funny. works on you because you you're averse to physical affection. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I would just get like distracted for a second. I might lose my train of thought. Maybe, but just pause you. The old uh, the old I was not talking to you should shut up anybody. Mm. Oh. This doesn't involve you, man. The one I used to always use was. When they're after a while, they're talking. It's like, what's a really easy way to tell somebody that you don't give a shit about what they're saying, and then wait for them to say whatever they say, and then it's like, okay, we'll apply that and get out of here. Like that was one of my favorites. <laughs> uh, go piss a lake and take a dip. That one's been I beat that one to death before. My one, my go-to is Killer Boots, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you do. You, that was fucking great. What's that? <laughs> Just like somebody would like, just, just an innocuous like meeting. You know, like just somebody would like say something I don't, I have no interest in, don't give a shit, and I'm just like, cool. Like you're killer just, boots, man. Like outside of like, <laughs> just outside of a venue, like no, it's a cardigan, but thanks for asking. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> like you're just outside of a venue, and some guy just comes off. To you, he's like, I saw a guy and he jumped, and then I said this, and like just like just puts himself in the conversation, and you just <laughs> Brent would just be like, everybody just be on staring, like who's this guy, and Brent was like. Killer boots, man. <laughs> That's good. I like it is that funny. a lot. It's very funny. <laughs> and then it's kind of like, uh, uh, just saunter back off again. It throws can, them off. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that happening at the Chameleon Club for some reason. Mm-hmm. The Lizard Lounge. <laughs> croc Rock. The Crocodile Rock. They love fucking scales in fucking Pennsylvania, dude. Mm-hmm. All their venues have creatures with scales on them, dude. Mm. Yo, that's where fucking This Is Hardcore should be next year. Something with a lizard. Mm. Some any not even this is hardcore anything in Philadelphia. We need a fucking lizard based venue in Philly. Some reptilian, yes, mm-hmm. reptilian records mm-hmm. down in Maryland. That's, <laughs> Long- it, that's in Long- Texas now. Oh, is it? Yeah, he moved to Austin like 10 years ago. Gator Sand game plan open a venue, all seeing eye on the front. <laughs> reptilian themed. Uh, <laughs> it's pyramid shaped. <laughs> Call- <laughs> Called the Clintons VFW, <laughs> Comet Ping Pong Two. Comet Ping Pong is good. <laughs> the Hillary, <laughs> Hillary's, Hillary's Comet Ping Pong Two. Hill Dog, Dick Cheney's Birdshot Cafe, <laughs> uh, Adrenal Chrome. Where are you guys playing? Oh, we're playing at Bohemian Grove, <laughs> dude. What? It's like this little coffee house out there in Lancaster. Area. Sick. <laughs> All the shows are in the basement. Wink, wink. Dude. Bring, How has bring over robes. Venue? Called themselves Bohemian Grove. Well, dude, uh, uh. I forget what tour. I, if I sent it to you, it was a, like a tour, somebody's tour poster, and the DC show was at Comet Ping Pong. It was a uh, basement. Ba- no, uh, there was a there was a like a. Was it I hate God? They just oh you the you door. just sent me that. I yeah. didn't see where they were playing. Yeah, DC was Comet Ping Pong. Oh, I mean, they, it's still there. There were, Cosmic Ping Pong, Comet Ping Pong, I forget which one is. There was is. a band like Basement or Turnover or something. Well, Basement will go through. Will be really on the nose. Of the band, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're also way too big to be playing that little ass room. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Somebody just played I, Comet Ping Pong. You, there's a band called Basement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. They're from England, right? Mm-hmm. Boy, they're like <laughs> title fight type shit. Yeah. yeah, I mean, dude, that's right up my alley, kind of. What was that word? <laughs> he, said, <laughs> he said, right up my alley, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking boom hour. Boom hour. Yeah. Start trailing off. Uh-huh. Shouldn't have done that. He's just a boy. <laughs> Home is where you make it. <laughs> <laughs> you made them French fried potatoes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <sighs> What, he likes to see a homeless naked? <laughs> That's <boy>. cool. <laughs> I can't find it. All I can find is where you keep texting me telling me you're the Martian Manhunter's boot. <laughs> There's pictures of his boots. You're like, That's me. <laughs> That's me? <laughs> me, dude. I'm the Martian Manhunter's boot, dude. His boot game he's is on his, sick. Okay. <laughs> he's on his silly gummies texting me. Oh, man. I was, I was reading 1980s comics while high on edibles. What a fucking nightmare. Dude, nightmare? Are you kidding me? I was fucking loving life that night, dude. I was just in a good fucking mood. I wasn't talking being, about you. Being I was, silly. I was vibing. Boot, you know how fu- booting. You know how fucking fun Boofing? old comic books while you're on drugs are? The, this oh, when all, their, when all their costumes look like Laffy Taffy? Oh, just bright colors. <laughs> oh, so Simple nice, designs. Dude. Yeah. Lots of thick Fucking lines. Money. You like my suit? It's Laffy Taffy, bitch. 
I gotta rewatch that. What, the is, what the hell is that? You the, never saw the I'm the Juggernaut bitch? The Juggernaut bitch, bitch video. That, is that, was that before your time? No. That was like the Remember biggest thing in the do earth. like the old, like they dub over G.I. Joe and yeah. old X-Men. Oh, so was that scene in that that recent Marvel movie like a callback it was a, it to was that? A, yeah. It was yeah. to the internet meme. I'm the Juggernaut yeah. Gotcha. Bitch. It was just some dude overdubbing the Juggernaut's line from the episode of the X-Men animated series. But the funny part is, is there's a part where Jubilee pops up. And I don't know if you've ever seen her, but she has like these bright pink sunglasses oh, yeah. she wears. And she's like, and she's just like, and it got, and some guy just goes, fear the wrath of Bret Hart. <laughs> oh, like, that's yeah. funny. <laughs> and, the, and Banshee's coming through with a green, uh, black, the green and yellow suit on. And someone's like, you would not fuck with me with my Jamaica colors. <laughs> <laughs> Bubba clock. It's so fucking funny. My pimp cane. <laughs> oh, sh- Charles, no. This sounds like some My shit. Helmet. I, this is some shit I would laugh at. It's very it's funny. It's very, very funny. I mean, it got worn out so fast, but it's been 20 years, so it's probably yeah, funny so again. It's, it's, about due for, it's funny again. It's about due for going back through the research <laughs> again. Yeah. Oh, it'll be in the group text later. Yeah. It's time. <laughs> Boys, it's time. <laughs> Dig it up. <laughs> the G.I. Joe ones were just, we, we just uh, Did we just talk about those? Like no. One of the I previous... Don't... Maybe, oh, maybe, yeah. maybe an appearance ago. Oh, there, so. there were, there was a whole series of GI Joe cartoon ones. They're amazing. It was the uh, I came up on those. the PSAs that used to happen after the episode because mm-hmm. <laughs> used to have like because I remember the one with the <laughs> where the house was on fire was because like don't leave your stove on. It's like uh, was the message. Was that pork chop sandwiches? Yeah, and the one where uh, the dude that has like the gas mask on, like the firefighter GI Joe. And like, but like, the noise is like, <laughs> they're like, what? <laughs> what? And he's like, what'd you <laughs> say, <laughs> Mister? <laughs> and it's like, GI Joe, GI Joe. So fucking good. Uh, and the one where uh, the one <laughs> just got down power line. Yeah. Yes. And he walks over this big claw to move it out of the way, and he's just like, who wants a body, body massage? massage. <laughs> it's like, where's the body just... massage machine go? It's like, what did he just say? Body massage. <laughs> <laughs> and the one that was a PSA about uh, don't go skating on thin on ice. ice. That's my favorite yeah. of all time. Not to check me out. I'm going this. so far out. Oh fuck! <laughs> I found out information about you today that I. How have you never seen Wonder Shows? In? I've never seen it. Have you seen? Do you know what Wonder Shows in is? I know what it is, but I haven't seen it's it. It's been in a long, long time. time. Oh Jesus Christ! You're also forgetting. I don't watch TV. It's not what on TV. Kidding? It hasn't been on TV. No, it, it got canceled. Hard. I'm still thinking about was that what Adult you... Swim. Yeah, no, it was I MTV. never. It was MTV. Was it? it was MTV. That's oh, right. that's why I got canceled. Uh, beat I... kids. I stopped. Yeah. Kids on the beat. Kids on the beat. <laughs> yeah. Beat kids. Yeah. Beat kids. Yeah. yeah. I stopped I was... watching uh, MTV when Beavis and Butthead got canceled. So whenever that was, 90s. I stopped when yeah. ridiculousness stopped airing all the time. It's still well, on. That's so the joke. Oh, I, get I don't know it what now. that is. Cerebral it's, is it's, fucked. It was a dumb joke. What is it? I don't. Think it's so. Rob Deerdick's show where he just watches. <laughs> it's Tosh with Tosh. Yeah, yeah. With his name's Deerdick. Yeah, Deer Dick. Jesus, that's, that's play a sound up. for that. I like it. That's what's up, dude. Deer Dick. <laughs> Do you have a Deer Dick drop on there? No. Why not, dude? Because. Oh. <laughs> a shooka shooka, a shooka shooka. Damn. <laughs> Some of my favorites are missing. Oh well, I'll fix it later. <laughs> Do you have the highlight on there at least, though? Oh <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. What I'm, show is this? I'm still thinking about uh, that we're on right now. I don't know. What do you mean? I. Is this your bush? What show? Is, what show are we doing <laughs> right tree now? Fucking Because I don't. I don't know if you've ever told anybody. Uh, we didn't intro the episode yet. Oh, oh yeah. Go Lord. ahead, Tom. Yeah, this is the Irrelevant I, Illiterate Podcast. I'm Dead Balls. That's Oatmeal Tits. And today, we're joined by Officer Brent Lavertinez. Mm-hmm. What are they? Under, undercover uh, <laughs> extraordinaire. You didn't wear the drug rug. No, you got idea. <laughs> and Where your poncho at? And the marvelous Matthew Bennett. Oh, The marvelous Miss Maisel Matthew Bennett. Mm-hmm. I'm still thinking about, get off my fucking lawn. Don't give him the stick. No, he, he <laughs> falls in. He says, give him the stick. Oh. Don't give him the stick. He goes, you're, and he goes, you're not my dad. And he goes, oh, G.I. Joe. Just oh. smash cut. It's so funny. And I, I love me, 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 There's me, me, one. Me, 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 me. I know the G.I. Joe guy's name is Spirit because I had the toy when I was a little kid. Oh, the Indian or the Native American guy. Whoa. For, forgive me. And uh, it's American. They actually Indian. take no. indigenous. There's this movie. I think it was, I think it was uh, Wind Talkers. That, uh, like, but it had like. Oh, they were. 
Native Did American like just like codes. like a prayer mm -hmm. thing, and they just take that. And just take that audio and put it over him talking to kids. So it's like, oh, da, she, she, bo, da, hey, da, bo, da, so, hey, then, oh, and it's just fucking like, god damn, this is so fucking funny. I just like the Jamaican one. <laughs> it's like, yo, we should go hit that shit again. But yeah, if I get to go first this time, no, boss, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not lying, dude. I'm Jump up. Go back and there's, there's a so super cut on good. YouTube. Yeah. Nice. It's it's, it's a like whole twelve minutes. hours. It's, long. No, no, it's like twelve minutes long. Yeah. Yeah. There's not that many they're of them. They're so short. Yeah, they're like Forgot. twenty seconds. Hey, kid, I'm a computer. <laughs> <laughs> that one's fucking good. And the dog comes up. He's like, "Oh hell no, nah. what's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> Stop all the downloading." This just proves we, that we're all we've so re stupid. We referenced so that, <laughs> but I love uh, it. <laughs> We referenced that the last like three episodes in a row. Oh, God, <laughs> gotta <it>. stop. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was quoting the "Hey kid, I'm a computer." Stop all the downloading thing for of... about ten years. <laughs> yeah. It is fucking ridiculous. It's so. Funny, it's just though. so funny. I really wish they would have kept going with it, but they got to do it again. It's also kind of better that they stopped when uh, you know, before it got dumb. Walk away. It's yeah. Classic. It, it keeps going, but GI Joe stopped a long time ago. <laughs> oh yeah, they had a couple reboots. I just want. I just hope the people that made those little skits are doing well in life. Mm -hmm. They it's deserve a, it. Yeah. All the jo all the all the laughter they brought us all. I'd rather them than that damn Kamala. Am I right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Come Allah. <laughs> Come Allah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh man, we're we getting political. No. Oh, it's so funny that people like. It's also Kamala, by the way. I don't care, but. I was referencing the sign that said yeah. "Come Allah." Yeah, <laughs> I think it's just funny that people have presidential merch now. It's an, I, I just totally... think idolizing a politician is the weirdest fucking thing on the ever. Yeah, it's such an that, market. But to, also to the point of having their merch. Yeah, imagine like having like a Biden Harris shirt or a Trump shirt. It's like they used to have pins, like buttons. Like, that's fun. Like that's he's right. He's I'm right. With, though. Like, I have Democratic <laughs> freaking. Buttons all over my mother's house. He's right though. It's a shirt you gotta wash and like put in the laundry. Yeah. And put in your drawer. There's effort. It's gonna come through the cycle and be like, I'm gonna wear my fucking Biden shirt today. I have. That's seen... so weird. That's something you might wear once, and then it's like your lawn mowing shirt from <laughs> then on out. Like out in Pennsylvania, dude, I have seen some huge Trump flags. Where it's like, how much did that? There's some around bought? here. Not yeah, not even. Not even flags, like wooden signs oh, that, yeah. people, that people make. I'm talking like 100, 100 feet long by 50 feet. Like, yeah. and I'm just, I mean, don't get me wrong. Aggressive. Don't get me and, wrong. Yeah. The guy's funny, but I'm not going to fucking do that. I don't think I've ever liked any politician enough to rock merch mm -hmm. or build a sign for them. Mm -hmm. I never wanted to build a sign for anything. I don't even like it when people come through like the neighborhoods. You ever somebody come knock on your door and be like, Hey, I'm running for school district, this or that. You just maybe not want to vote for you because you bothered me. Yeah. And they're also like, <laughs> I'm playing Fallout. And I'm just like, uh, I don't care. Like, do you mind if I put a sign in your yard? I'm like, yeah, I do. Because yeah. I got to mow around that stupid yeah. thing. And then I'm the one who's going to have to throw it out in a week because you didn't come pick it up. Mm -hmm. Like, no, you're not doing that. Now it's like they can get penalized for not picking their <laughs> shit up. Penal. <laughs> <laughs> they can get fined for every yeah. sign that they leave or some shit. I don't know. I'd wear a shirt for the uh, the rent's too damn high guy. <laughs> <laughs> With his gloves. I would have worn a shirt for the guy I voted for last election. Vermin Supreme? No. Howie Hawkins. I don't know if you remember him from the ballot. But uh, two weeks before election day, he was a he worked for FedEx. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can fuck with that, dude. The guy's actually had a job. He's in receiving. He had a fucking day job. <laughs> Vermin like, Supreme's got a rubber boot. Yeah, yeah, but he didn't have a job. He probably doesn't have a job. No, Vermin <laughs> Supreme does not have a job. There's no way. <laughs> Besides being badass. But yeah, first off, his name was Howie. I'm like, yeah. dude, if your name's Howie, cool. But like, yo, you're going to run for president? Go by Howard, dude. It's just smarter. Mm -hmm. People are more inclined to vote for a Howard than for a Howie. I don't know. It didn't work for Howard Dean. <laughs> Valid point. But yeah, I voted for him because I didn't want anybody else on the ticket to win. I was like... Who the fuck's is Howie Hawkins? Oh, fuck, I'm voting for him. And I voted for him. Then I went home and uh, Googled him. And he's like, yeah, he's, up until two weeks before election, he worked for FedEx. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. What's wrong with that? It's great. Like, he, didn't, wasn't, he wasn't hedging his bets. It's like, what do you, last thing you want to do is drop out of the race. And like, 
can I have my job back? The whole running for president thing didn't go so well. I'll go back to 412. <laughs> Just get there. It's like, yeah, but you lose all your seniority, Howie. <laughs> oh, man. Right, man and you're also bad. back to only two weeks vacation. <laughs> oh, fine, <Ooh>. Jeff. <laughs> and and Martha took your spot in the fridge in the break room. Oh. Classic fucking Martha. Dude. You're fucked. <laughs> what he went for it, dude. Apparently, the way to um to uh, participate in the democratic process if you don't want to vote is to write in a, a candidate. Where do you write in? I've never seen the space. <laughs> Me neither. Maybe on mail-in just... ballots, there's a spot for it, but uh, I, yeah, I'm not in person, yeah. I don't think. I don't know that you can do that. Yeah. There's nothing to I've write only on. Done in person. It's always been the computer. The only yeah, the only mail-in ballot I've ever. No, nah, there's still paper even... for us, but it, yeah. it's like really? a really yeah. yeah. The only one I've ever even seen mail in was the 2020 election because of the fucking. COVID. No, it is a computer now, but it prints out a thing. It prints out a receipt. Yeah, like a receipt. <laughs> you have to yeah. put it in a mm-hmm. fucking little. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Black. And it's not grid in high school. Yeah. you have to put in. Mm-hmm. And there's like no pen or anything to write shit on, so it's like fuck it. You know how many times I voted for Jill Stein? I have no idea <laughs> anything about her. It'd be cooler if it was Jill Scott. Because, because <laughs> I just didn't want the other people at all. So I'm like, I got to vote for somebody, or you, I can't. You don't. Well, you don't. Can't you complain. actually don't. Got you it. don't have to. Well, I, I still like. I want the right. I feel better complaining if I know I didn't vote for the people that won. That's the reason not to vote. But though. Jill Stein is run. I think in at least four elections. She's always there. Was she Green Where? Party or something? Libertarian. No, she's she's not libertarian. No, she's, she's green. I think she's green or the other one. She's she's switched. She's libertarian for a while. Oh fuck out of here! But how can you afford to run four elections in a row? It costs so much money to run yeah. for president. Who's endorsing her? Exactly. Who knows? I so I think her, we are all confused about her party. I think whatever party's willing to say, hey, you can be our person. About point. Three six percent of the people who vote. <laughs> That's yeah. who likes her. Mm-hmm. What if she was related to Ben Stein? Mm. That'd be cool. She can win his money. Then we wouldn't have to guess her. Maybe political that's party. who she's related. She isn't related to Ben Stein. That's where she got all the money from. Yeah. Not enough people want Ben Stein's money, so he, so he has this fortune that he's yeah. like, it's just sitting in my living room, Jill. Why don't you take it? Sitting there like Bueller. Yo, talk Bueller. about <laughs> talk about people who Jimmy. Took, who took a fucking turn. Who? Ben Stein. What, I, after his show, I never saw him again. Dude, he is hardcore. Like, see, the blacks are on the welfare. And it's, I was like, whoa. Wait, whoa, whoa. This is the first I'm hearing of this. Uh, Dude, yeah, seriously. Tim Dillon covered it a couple years ago on his podcast. And I was like, holy shit, dude. You think with somebody being that chill and smart, he'd have an open mind? I could have no. sworn he was a super left back then. Yeah. No. He's, well, then he fucking swung. The other the pendulum, <laughs> yeah. What a banana head. <laughs> well said. <laughs> Do you think he has presidential merch? I wonder if he's even alive. St- he's got to be alive yeah. still. He wasn't that old back then. He was probably only like fifty back then. Mm-hmm. But he was in all, his thirties all... in the mid eighties. No, I want to. I, I want to say I think he passed. Was it like like cancer? I felt like he check? died too, but I could be way off. I don't. On that. I don't know that he I did. Know, I don't got service. I can't check. But uh... Tim Dillon saw him at the fucking Beverly Hills Hotel because yeah. he would he would just like record YouTube videos just sitting in a chair with the front facing camera on, just ranting about how Ben Stein. Min- yes. Wow. About how minorities and people on welfare were just sucking this country dry Holy and shit. Shit. You ever think, not that long ago? Why don't that's insane? You ever think like presidential candidates like they should just if they did better merch they would do well? Yeah, merch is in right now. Like better than just like the stupid dude. They got fucking flags with Trump with his yeah. I head got that, but photoshopped on Rambo. Like, <laughs> like that's that, sick. That's sick. That's fucking <laughs> I'm sick. Not gonna lie. There, there's <laughs> a there's a guy there's what? A, there's a guy down the street on Mill Creek Road who has a Trump cutout head like on the window of his. Uh, truck, no so shit. it looks like he's in the back seat. It's oh so my funny. God. Yeah. He's, a, hair. he's still alive. So he's a columnist for Newsmax. Oh, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> All actually. right then, but like, damn Ben Stein, because you figure like the MAGA hat, it's a very popular hat, dude. It's, but it's such, I feel like that phased out. But it's also just so. such a, a basic, boring design. That's like, what sells, man. If they were done something a little flashier keep on like it, a bucket hat, nah, keep it. They, they're out. What there. about the shoes? The shoes were as flashy as you can get. Yeah, the fi- I didn't the grab my shoes. They were gold. <laughs> Nothing, Jesus. Five thousand dollar Trump shoes or something. 
that were like basically airwalks spray painted gold. Uh, they were, they, were, <laughs> yeah, dude. they were some fucking McGregor's from Payless. <laughs> yeah, dude. Were they cooler than Yeezys though? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeezys are fucking beat as hell. They weren't dude. as cool as LA Knights. Or British Knights. <laughs> BK Knights, dude. <laughs> I had a pair. That was the only pair she like convinced my mom to buy me. Literally just shh. That was sick, dude. The catapults. <laughs> like I couldn't afford pumps. I was like, Mom, can I get some BK Knights? She's like, fine. Because <laughs> they were only like $70. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I was fucking... No one else had them because no one else wanted them, but I thought I was cool. I was like, totally so not either. athletic in them. <laughs> <laughs> now, if Trump did like a shoe line with British Knight, he'd probably be killing right now. You gonna oh. do some K-Swisses. <laughs> you got any news, Tommy? I have other things besides news. Hit me. Mm. I do, too. I don't just have news all the time. I do. I Real quick, I um, our friends do cool shit. Yeah, uh, I have some of that. Do you got yours queued up already? I do, because I don't have a computer in front of me. Okay. Go ahead, bud. A pooter. Well, let's see. The day of this episode will be the 28th. So mm-hmm. tomorrow is the Four in Hands uh, What's Left Unsaid record release at Etna Hose Hook and Ladder in Newark. There. I'm down with hoses, hooks, and ladders. Yeah. That's the lifeless joint? Lifeless yep. is playing. Yeah. I don't know in what... Uh, I believe with Dean singing. Yeah, Dean singing. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. The original yeah. singer. And, and it's like Mike's drumming. I think Tyler's drumming. Oh, really? I believe so. Okay. Oh, interesting. I wonder who the rest of the band will be. Then. That's just it. That's why I'm curious. Kyle. But no Michael. Interesting. I don't think so. I don't think Ryan either. That Ryan's sense. in a new band. I saw he, something. He's been in a new band. That Born Enigma band? No, 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 no. no. Something else. No. Like a rock band. Flamethrower? No. Oh. Something else. Oh. That band was good. He's busy. But Lifeless, Discontent. My favorite band from all of Delaware is Vic- uh, Vicious Embrace and Splattered Spine. Mm. Six o'clock, 20 bucks. Be there. T- tomorrow, the th- uh, Thursday, the 29th. And then Saturday, September 7th at the Shamrock Inn, we got fucking Deep Rest. We got fucking Suck a What? Yeah. We got Dove. Uh, I texted Charm to make sure that's what the name actually was. He's like, bro, I think it's just Dove. And I was like, okay. That's a sick name. That's a pretty right. good name. Like, he was like, what do you think it stands for? And I was like, I don't even know, man. And uh, Does it have like little dots after it? Mm-mm. It's just Dove. It's a bird. It's dove. Maybe there's into that soap. Damn, that's true. Against everyone and run down. Doors at 6 o'clock, $12 at the door, or... Eight dollars in advance. Shamrock Inn is a underrated venue in Baltimore. I love yes. that venue. Is that I, a free state show? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, I think it's a big funny show. Mm. Shout out to Big Funny. Honestly, it's a great name. I love that dude. He's <laughs> a big doofus. I love him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the big fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> and then middle of September, Maeve Hennessy is presenting "Get to the Point" number five. Look at her go at fucking com- the comedy sports theater across the street from Helium. September fourteenth, nine o'clock at night. Have you like have you guys kept in contact with her? Like how are those going? They're they're still fucking going. Yeah. So, so I mean they, yeah. They it's do. a good concept. And uh, a Saturday night late late night spot at any venue is like it's yeah. if, gold. If that's you, gold. If, that's if you've gold. got that locked in, yeah. Nice. They they must love what's going on there. Yeah, and if you're not doing well, they'll push you right out of there and get something else in there that will do well. Yeah. And that's like an improv, like th- like perform on stage theater. Not just it's not a comedy. You said it's the one across from Helium, across the street. Yeah, yeah. it's like Caddy Corn. Or like yeah, it is kind of Caddy. Yeah. Sansom Street, Sansom. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Is, 20... that the, is that the one that's right near? Uh, I don't know if it's still there. Long in the Tooth Records. Oh record uh, yes. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's it is Caddy Corner to that. Okay. I just like saying Caddy Corner. You do. I, <laughs> I like when you say it. Caddy Corner. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. it is fun. And then finally, Takedown Events presents uh, Saturday, September 20th, 6 o'clock, Jesus Peace, Foreign Hands, one of my favorite bands ever, Invoke, Final Resting Place, Blood Runs Cold, and Shot Out at uh, Salty's uh, Beach Bar in Lake Como. No shit. Old Blood Runs Cold or is it a new band? It's, it must be new. Because they're at the very bo- they're at the, like, the bo- second from the bottom of the lineup. That would be kind of funny to have a band come back. You're like, yeah, you're an opener now. 
<laughs> you lost your seniority. That'd be fucking funny. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't even realize Invoke was still active. Me either. Yeah, I sick. fucking yeah. love that <laughs> band. <laughs> Heavy as fuck. Dude, when that demo came out, I couldn't fucking believe what mm-hmm. I was hearing because I I've known that singer Lar for a while because he was with he's with all the North Carolina kids that my old band was like super friends with and tight with. Nice. Super and I was friends? like I was like, that dude is singing? What the fuck? Yeah. He sounds like a demon. He's crazy. Exactly. Like, I, I I saw the name and I was like, let me check this shit out. And I was like, oh. He's like oh. the most he he's he's a big lug, but he's so sweet and unassuming. I was like, man, what a what a band invoke is. Nice. Uh speaking of Sucka What, they have a new record out. Uh it's available on Spotify and other streaming places. Also, uh October twenty fifth, twenty sixth, and twenty seventh at the Meat Locker and Debonair, both in North Jersey, Montclair and uh T Neck respectively, is uh this year's Spooky Fest, uh done by my buddy uh, Jake from Lunar Blood. Uh, this year, oh. the first announcement of bands, uh, All Out War, Parexia, Chemical X, Roseblood, Edict, School Drugs, Savage Mystic, and Trail Asphyxiation. S- School Drugs is a great name. Uh, Silk Sheets. Good band. Wet Specimens. Mm-hmm. Nailed Shut, Sentient Horror, Private Hell, Reeking Aura, Lunar Blood, Trog, and Schasm. Take my money with All Out War. All Out War's Direct. playing my, uh, the Meat Locker? Uh, I don't know. It's got all the It's multiple in there. venues. Oh, yeah. okay. I was like, Jesus. Yeah, it's across three days. And this is only the first group. Dude, He's going to have more yeah. bands coming out. Yeah. So, it's, okay. It's multiple venues. Yeah, yeah. I got you. And it's, uh, he does a, it's cool. It's like, it's, it's mixed. Bill. Sounds like it. Yeah. So, it's not like it's all strictly metal, strictly hardcore, or <laughs> strictly punk or anything like that. It's got a good mix. Hell yeah. But. Noise. Yeah. That's all I had for that. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, what? Stopwatch. Our boys in Stopwatch have and a new yeah. single. Yeah, have a new single out. Yes. Um, yeah, I forget what it's called, but members, just follow Stopwatch. Members of Queensway and at Stopwatch Rock on uh, Instagram. Uh, just go into their profile and the link go take you right to it. Shout out to uh, Phil. Do coats uh, in that band too, Mike, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plays yeah. bass, yeah. Yeah. Phil, Mike, dude, those two new guys. Queensway songs were hard as. Fuck. Oh yeah, two new Queensway songs up mm-hmm. too. So yeah, those were. Mm. Gotta well, check those yeah. fucking. It was a nice boys. surprise on a Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> was that that was like right before they played the fest. They yeah. dropped those. Yeah, like I just saw like, oh, Queensway new shit, and I was like, mm-hmm. okay, feeling good. On they a live Wednesday. all over the fucking place now too, so <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah. that wasn't easy to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I push. <laughs> I am Lord. My croc fell off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we all wearing Crocs right now? Nope. <laughs> Sucker. Brent's out. Damn, Apparently we, he doesn't like to relax. Dude. Thanks, yeah. thanks gotta, for uh, coming down. Get you some. Yeah. Hey man, dude, I don't even have underwear on. <laughs> All right, that's. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's easily just as chill as wearing Crocs. That's, I'm, I was just I'm saying listening. that's pretty fucking. That's sick. pretty fucking chill too, dude. I'm listening. I do, <laughs> dude. Yo, I can't go commando these days. My balls are too long. It's been so hot, <laughs> dude. Mm-hmm. It's if it's not professional setting or public. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, free balls. Like, I can't, I can't, like cotton shorts on. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> You're lucky I have pants on, all right? I have old man balls now. So it's Thanks. like, they're just like smacking around. I was like, God, and it's so uncomfortable. Mm. It's like a door knocker between your legs. <laughs> As a you. One, one, of my, mm. one of my recent favorite things I've heard can also apply to old balls. Was Chris, mm. I was listening I was listening to one of the newer um, Your Mom's House mm. and Christina P. <laughs> I saw your eyes roll. Christina P. described her boobs as state droopers yeah oh yeah that's, that's always <laughs> that's pretty clever i, I'll give I did like that, that. that's yeah. pretty funny she got tent cancer she yeah. does that's what that sucks yeah. yeah god damn it that sucks that's a great set to get cancer that fucking sucks ass she had got the cancer are you drinking no i'm holding it to see how long it takes for you to realize that it's up here <laughs> like two seconds <laughs> You just what? it's empty. When you when you have one, you just hold it like this. You never put it down. It's so funny. Okay. He's silly. Yeah, you know, when we were just talking about politics, <laughs> I have uh, some daily jocularity for us here. Oh, Jesus Hell Christ. Yeah. I'll start it with the political one. And it's uh it's a picture of Mount Rushmore and they've added a fifth uh president to Oh. It. But this is Wait, for real? The yes. And oh, wait, this, this is a meme. Fuck me. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. And this is the back of the president's head, not the front. Oh, Christ. I hope it's Kennedy. 
No, it's uh, a <laughs> pile of rocks. <laughs> it's the, the <laughs> somebody threw a stick at dynamite. No, that's at the bottom. Yo, <laughs> dude, what if they added a fucking another part to Rushmore, but instead of being a president's head, it's just Jackie O's can going across the limo <laughs> trying to pick the brain up. That, yo, that shit was yeah. I was like, what's up, girl? <laughs> All right, sorry for interrupting you. It said, uh, it says, uh, I, I know somebody last week, I don't know it was Kamala Harris, suggested that Joe Biden be on Mount Rushmore, but here you go. Ouch. It's the back of Biden's head on Mount Rushmore. He turned around. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Shout out to him. Shots the, fired, right? <laughs> the, the only other one that he gave me so far was uh, another one of those like Facebook. like. Create- Is this from our boy? Yeah. Okay. Rasa G. <laughs> Oh, RJ, <laughs> you know those like create a create a text like posts on Facebook. I love yeah. those. It's like laughing faces in the background, just yellow and black text. It says elementary kids have iPhones. When I was a kid, I put glue on my hands just so I could peel it off when it dried. I did do that. Yeah, I thought I was really cool. I'm peeling He's my skin. One of us, man. No, it was cool. Well, my, when my skin peels, I'd be peeling issues. Now mm-hmm. I don't remember who <laughs> posted this, but. I will bring it up anyway. Uh, It is similar to what you were talking about with the create a a meme things where it's just like emojis in the background. It's just got people laughing and somebody doing the whole, you know, hand on the chin thing. It says, Hmm. no man should be taking selfies every day. Fuck you think you a bad bitch? (laughs) (laughs) I know that's right. That made me chuckle. (laughs) Yeah, there is something weird about guys who take a selfie every day. Yeah. It's alarming. It is. I'm not going to share that one because that'll get me beat up. It's a lot. Now this is another one. I <laughs> this is another one I found, and it's um, I forget who posted this too. I want to say it was our buddy Irv, uh, but uh, it's a a lady here, and she's got a laundry on there, and then her her guy is right right there in front of me. He's got laundry on. What? Right? And it says how dudes without tattoos sleep at night. <laughs> Comfortable. <laughs> True story. So apparently dudes, <laughs> what he's implying is dudes that don't have tattoos wear lingerie. Mm, so comfortable and yeah. silky. Well, Supported. S- sexy. And sexy. Yeah. And se- oh, I and see nothing wrong. As someone who doesn't have tattoos. Confirmed. Hey. Definitely true. Uh-oh. He's sharing a, He's sharing something not there, I mean, flat. visual. So, <laughs> but and It never stopped us before. I almost died for your sins. <laughs> It's, wow, it's old did. T Money uh, wearing a Jesus <laughs> robe. I love it. It's fucking great. I love that he has like a mullet too. It's super good. I can't believe you tried to underhand like almost not bring that out here. If, right. if he had a mullet, Dude, I'd consider holy it. Shit. I'd consider it. Holy shit! My finger would. But he's ho- got to have the designs. Your the finger would hover. Stripe. Your finger would hover over that. You're just like, yeah. In, yeah. In, the fucking, in the fucking voting booth. Oh, president with a mullet. Oh, oh man, Camacho. You can't get. <laughs> you can't get much more American than that. Damn, President Camacho, I'd vote for that dude. <laughs> Yo, you know I know what? shit's fucked up. <laughs> Just so the next Running president out of has French to fries and because you know how that works. Like the, the next president has to hang a picture of the former president up in the White House. Yeah. Oh, do they? Yeah. yeah so I just imagine whoever's next has to hang a picture of Trump with a mullet. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> but you ever think like if say Trump wins again, which honestly I think he will. It's gonna um, do you think he's gonna deface the Biden picture he has to hang? <laughs> like he'll hang it. But like draw like a like a mustache and like a dick on his forehead. Mm. I can I can see him purposely hanging it upside down or crooked. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't think he physically personally hangs it. I just mean that it happens after he takes off. I feel like he's gonna flip it off every time you walk oh, yeah, by yeah. it and like you know, spit do on tongue it. Out and, <laughs> just wipe his greasy hands from eating <laughs> Burger King on it. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> just and honestly, Big Mac sauce. And honestly, I I kind of ref- I would respect that maneuver. <laughs> I I love I love like deep petty. Oh, God, it's so... Like, Petty... Long. long yeah, petty yeah. with, like, a normal person is, like, it's whatever. But Petty, when someone's, like, A, a millionaire or a billionaire, and then who's held the office of president, is so much funnier than anything else in the world of he, pettiness. He is the most petty president, It's so fucking too. funny. Yeah. It's like you have all of the... You were the president. You are fucking rich. And you're still this fucking petty? That's fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> 
It's in his yeah. blood, dude. <laughs> he can't let it go. But him like adding like little like post it notes like underneath the picture was like, I'm a stinky doo doo head. Shit like that would be <laughs> fucking hilarious. I need I need that to happen. Like an arrow pointing to it that says Lion Joe or something like that. I sniff Kick heart. me. <laughs> I heart I heart dick. I'm with stupid. <laughs> and it's pointing up. <laughs> That's gotta happen. Just straight third grade shit. Yeah. <laughs> Just, just, I, would, I would hang it on like fucking just hit, Grover Cleveland's picture. Just him with like a White House page being like, all right, what I want you to do is you take this picture of doo-doo I just drew, and I want you to go tape it to Joe Biden's picture. Put it on his He's head. Fucking hysterical. I love it. Make sure you he, put the lines on. Yeah, just, the, the, just the, the flies. Yeah, just, put the flies just, around just it. Trump explained to like the White House page like, you see what I'm insinuating is is he's a poop head. <laughs> just be fucking Meanwhile, he's saying this to a person who has a PhD in political science. <laughs> yeah, this kid's like really trying to like be somebody. He's like, "What did you do today at work?" He's like, oh, I, printed out, "I printed out a poop emoji. I printed out a poop emoji and put it on uh, Joe Biden." I'm sorry, I used all your brow marker. <laughs> yeah, I put a pan. I put a kick me sign on George W. Bush's fucking picture too. <laughs> and that's what they sit in D.C. traffic for <laughs> yeah. that job. Yo. Let me ask you this, though. <laughs> Why hasn't Trump reached out to W? Like, just to, like, kind of... I think... Uh, don't you think they would be boys? No. You, no. no. Nah, W's too chill. Yeah. yeah. He just wants to paint pictures now. Yeah. Also, shit. W's, like... He's over it. He's also the guy who's like, I'm out. It's not my place anymore. Smart. He's, like... Different kind of dumb, but yeah. he... he uh, he definitely just washed his hands of it and stepped away. I yeah. think also, like, W being out of the public eye mm -hmm. in the information age that we live in now is the best possible thing he could Absolutely. do. For his sanity. No, one. because of his family. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still, like, just, like, to keep you fucking, like, he went through a really tough presidency. Like, a lot of shit popped yes. off Who during turns, his presidency. Brother? Right? And a lot of shit popped off during his presidency. I mean... The and he most wasn't horrific a war thing popped yeah. off. He didn't yeah. want to be a war Since president. the fucking Civil War popped off during his presidency. Yeah. So he's like, I'm just going to fucking chill the rest of my life. I I'm don't just want to paint pictures and. Yeah. I paint I'm, I'm pictures, gonna, chill I'm, out on my fucking ranch I'll or whatever. Be in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't his main campaign just education? Uh, and then, like, I don't most. It was No point. Child Left Behind. Okay. Yeah. Education and jobs. Yeah. But, but yeah. As soon as he was out, he was like, well, he did like the things like. I'm out. He showed up to pass the torch to uh, Barack, mm -hmm. and he showed up in like places where ex presidents yeah, were supposed to show up. Funerals yeah, like, and shit. He was like the man, like that. Yeah. But on that, he was just like, "I'm out." Yeah, I've had enough of Washington. I I'm, mean, I'm good. A quick Google search of just him, or let alone his dad or grandfather. Oh, his dad's oh, way more vile oh, than him. Yes, the CIA. Oh hell yeah, oh, dude. If you're into nonfiction, there's a great book called Family of Secrets. I've read it. About yeah. the Bush family, that is like it's wild. Well, even Whoa. HW's dad was a fucking press guy. Oh, yeah. yeah press do either of you have that book? Because I would like to read that. I, I do, but I would have to search through. The okay, if you find show. it later, I just will. let me yes, know. Definitely. Yeah. If they, you have a physical of that, that rules. I, I do. Have, I only listen to it. There, but is, there is a lot of information. It's, it's funny, like all this shit, book. like they they put on uh, Bill and Hillary, mm -hmm. like what the Clintons are up to, and yeah, don't get me wrong, shady shit. No, oh, yeah. The Bush family, motherfucker, generation. Yeah, like nothing, a, nothing Bill or Hillary could ever do because the amount of the shit that the Bush has gotten. Well, weren't they like oil money? To oil start, money, and then got CIA, in, and then got into the government stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like, a lot uh, of bodies on them. Poppy Bush, like a Prescott Bush, like helped start the CIA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was the OSS. Yeah, yeah. I remember. And they, they're like, they're not just oil barons, but they're old Connecticut, like old money, yeah, like wealth. Yes. Not rich. Yeah. Well, well. and uh, yeah. and it's not Yale, just big right? difference. And yes. even George yeah, W. Like, Yale people. Yeah. Hedge George fun. George W. is the one that became the president, but his <laughs> brothers were up the shit too. Jeb, Jeb, Neil, they're all in the shit, dude. I love the my favorite thing that it did was that it, it broke it, the the um, first of all the amount of connection to the Kennedy assassination is cr fucking is crazy. wild. It's, it's crazy. Wild. Yeah. But the way it broke down W's military service is <laughs> fucking hilarious he like only imagine he basically attended he basically attended training once every two weeks in like fucking florida and then would fly yeah. home to texas and that counted as like service yeah it was it, My it, daddy. it wasn't even something that like a national guardsman would do yeah it was even less those fake heroes it was air force <laughs> that's what he did air force yeah Chair force, I mean. <laughs> Got him. Nailed him. How are you there? 
<laughs> Fucking Abu Omar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, inshallah. God damn it, dude. Yo, you know what I brought today? That it's been a while what? since we had. It's it's kind of a combo of language of love and lost in translation. Ooh. Ooh. You familiar with Anne Hathaway? Yes, yeah, she's beautiful. That <laughs> woman. She's fucking hot as shit, dude. I don't know why, but it was on the explore page of the podcast search on Instagram, and I, I looked- it had to be because I was on our podcast thing, mm-hmm. and for some reason I've had Anne Hathaway on my explore page. Dude, she's for been like all the last six months. But I saw this picture of her wearing a shirt. It looks like the FedEx font, but it says "Fed Up," and I was like, "Ha ha!" Nailed him. She's funny. It's from that's it's a picture from the Kids Choice Awards 2004. Oh, Look how good she looks. And sketchy that this is her now. Kids. Yeah, she is an age. Yeah. yeah. But I was like, let's check the comments let's just oh, just, just to see. Oh God. Yeah, this is 2004. These are some of my favorites. Is this her posting it? By the way. No, it was, <laughs> it was some fan page. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, two ten Tay Tan said without e lips lipstick oh a cream color oh a orangish cream color whiz gloss lipstick color oh a suit try this oh so too <laughs> trust me gudu sense boe cool kala hell Lot, yeah lots of commas I'm pretty sure that's exactly points. what that guy said before he ripped out the dude's heart in Indiana Jones mm-hmm. yeah that or like <laughs> sada te booty <laughs> 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 tang like this what I my damn I think you're right <laughs> some of my other favorites were 1635 Ranjit said I like you ma'am with five heart emojis ma'am <laughs> Mr. Brown 25 said his little peaches <laughs> alright <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look, what is this? B uh, BCL Ralph said, "Okay, what area yo fed up with?" Question mark. That's a good question. I couldn't. I, I mean, couldn't I, tell I'd you. I'd like to know. I'd like to know what's going on with this belt and bracelet situation. They don't match. The fuck. Mm-mm-mm. Lopez underscore two point four said she can spit in my mouth any day. Shout emoji. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the emoji of the head that's like shouting. Yeah. 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 He's and, going. And then finally, uh, <laughs> Joe Sinkowitz, or at Joe Sinkowitz, just said, yep, Trump 2024. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that Nailed got it. Me. That's the one that got me fucking good. That was a good one. Nailed it. Yep, Trump 2024. Like, okay, for sure. <laughs> that is the other thing I love back on Pox for two seconds, is that people will throw Trump 2024 into anything. It just doesn't matter. Anything. It's like, oh, did you guys watch this game? Like, yeah, they were great. They they scored this. Trump 2024. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, what was the Anne Hathaway movie where she would, like got real spicy? Uh, Havoc? Uh, yeah. God, it came up when I was Google searching. Picture. Havoc, I think. Yeah. Devil Wears Prada? <laughs> <laughs> she was sassy, not spicy. All of them? <laughs> God damn, she is hot, too. She's ridiculously hot. She's fucking Catwoman, dude. I won't look up how old she is because I'll just get depressed. I don't even she's probably know. 40 no she's yeah. she's been in movies longer than 20 years yeah she wasn't she well like she's not kid? I don't think she's any older than 40 I'd say you want to bet like my age well, aren't you 40 yet I'm 42 41 yeah 41 40 new <laughs> god damn she's just fucking hot as shit I just had to fucking check that she's out. 41 <laughs> Knew Boom. it. Nailed it. Because nothing's worse than watching a movie. You're like, oh, that girl's hot as shit. And you look her up on IMDb and she's like 22. You're like, oh, Christ, I'm a creep. <laughs> well, <laughs> fucking like, uh, <laughs> uh, Margot Robbie in uh, uh, Wolf of Wall Street was 23. Look, she's hot. No shit. Margot Robbie's hot, right? Yeah. I get it. But nothing special. That is not true. I, I don't agree either. That I is, think she's aggressively beautiful. Is objectively she's hot. Not true. I'm not saying she's like, but I don't think she's anything that's gonna like. I would like kill over or anything like that. Are you? I, I mean, I wouldn't kill I mean, over I, anyone. I would, yeah. She's smoking. That's a lie, Matthew. Who would I kill for? Jillian Anderson. Mm. In a pantsuit. Mm. How mean is she being to me? <laughs> she's not believing that you've found where the black oil comes from. Oh fuck! I've already started leaking. <laughs> See, <laughs> so never say never, dude. Never act like you're above the fucking having. I do a have a picture of Jillian Anderson hanging in my office, <laughs> as you should, <laughs> as we all should. There's nothing worse, better than a skeptical lady in a fucking pantsuit. It's just hot, dude. It's true. 
But yeah, Margot Robbie, she's she's very pretty. I'm not yeah. taking away from her, but I don't see why everybody's losing their minds. Over I'm, her. I'm on your team with this. Like, her, yeah, and the other one was a smoke uh, show. Bef- it was before. It was a couple years back, but Emma Stone. Okay. I was uh, like that one. I agree. With. I was like, she's pretty, yeah. but it, why it, are everybody losing their fucking minds over this? Emma Stone ends it pretty though. But Emma Stone's got the personality. True. Yeah. Sure, that's true. Margot Robbie is Australian though. Okay. She's also a metalhead. Who? Margot Robbie. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah but good metal. Yeah. And she listens to death metal. I doubt it. I you mean, know, she she name dropped a bunch of death metal bands in an interview. Yeah, but which ones though? Are you gonna be that guy? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Fucking comic book guy over here. Yes, I am. Did I don't you hear know. They just tried to cancel Cannibal um, Corpse. I <laughs> think like, I love metal. I love Rings I think she's, of Saturn. She's like, the ah. one. I think she's the one who dropped Dismember or some shit. All right, now you're in. Okay. All right. Now no, you kind of want me back there. Back in. Still though. <laughs> now look. See, because because look. that was the thing now about Je- that was the thing about Jenna Jameson too. She was like, oh, I love metal. She talked about like new metal bands. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. different. Yeah, it stinks. And also, Jenna Jameson's kind of beat. Anyway. But if Margot Robbie was a girl that you saw at shows, yeah, okay, yeah, she get it, stand out. But when she's in Hollywood, uh, surrounded by tons of other hot girls, I okay, still, I still think she holds a candle. Man. She's still up there. You cannot Good deny actress? the fact that she's attractive. Oh, I didn't say she wasn't. Right. I just said she's. I said she's very pretty. Yeah. But I don't see why everybody's losing their minds over Margot Robbie. I'm on your team, buddy. She's a great actress. Yeah. She's a good actress. But it's just, eh, not for yeah. me. It's fine. Fair enough. Go. Get nah. the boots. If yeah, she, she's no Frances McDermott. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> From Fargo. Fargo. Frances McDormand, buddy. What, whatever. Fucking cop. This is a fucking cop ass comic book guy. And honestly, yo, her in Fargo or uh was it three billboards? I love that movie, dude. I, I three hit. billboards was fucking I'd great. Hit. <laughs> yes. She was really hot in that movie. Dude, yeah. Determined? She looked That's a sexy quality, dude. <laughs> she looked like a scary amount, like one of my ex's moms. I was like, yo, that's Lori right there. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> that's crazy. You ever notice you never saw her and Lori in the same room together? I do. Makes you think. Mm-hmm. That's because she was making that movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do your own research, man. The information's there if you know where to look for it. <laughs> the basement of comic ping pong <laughs> with I Hate God. <laughs> they got the paperwork. I got Lori some... and Francis McDormand at the I Hate God show? <laughs> <laughs> I got some information about chicken wings. I'm okay. listening. All right. You have my attention? Let me see. Hot up. dogs and baloney. <laughs> my baloney. Who, who is Vera Liddell? She's a school... Oh, that's Chuck Liddell's... Uh, Sister. Yeah, I see the resemblance. Yeah. She's a school employee who stole $1.5 million worth of chicken wings. That's what? a lot of money. A former Illinois... What size wing, ring she wear? <laughs> <laughs> Just curious. Wait, $1.5 million dollars worth of chicken, chicken wings. Wait. Worth of chicken wings. From a school. Wait. Why does a school have a mil- $1.5 million worth of chicken wings? I don't know, guys. Maybe I should read it. <laughs> My school never had chicken wings. Also, Why did you give me the answers? <laughs> also, it depends. Is that just the normal flat rate, or was it on Tuesdays well, when they're half price? We'll get it for cheaper. Retweet what I just fucking said. <laughs> Vera- sorry, sorry, sorry. Why won't you explain this to us? <laughs> Tell us about the chicken wings. <laughs> Jesus. I'll just send you the link. <laughs> a former Illinois school employee was sentenced to nine years in prison after she stole one and a half million dollars worth of chicken wings from this from the district during the height of the COVID nineteen pandemic. Free Vera. Three years. <laughs> Agree. Free Vera. Right. Sixty eight spent ten years as the food service director at Harvey School District one fifty two, according to her LinkedIn profile. From July twenty twenty to February of twenty twenty two, she ordered over eleven thousand cases of chicken wings from the school district's food provider, Gordon Food Services, and picked them up in a district cargo van. Prosecutors reportedly claimed eleven thousand cases. That's a good start. This is Vera right here, and some chicken wings, just for reference. Girl, free my girl. She does look just like Chuck, honestly. Chuck, uh, That's a drumstick. Why is it in a wing conversation? Students were leaning. Our students were learning remotely during the pandemic, but the school district still provided meals to that families could pick up. Court records indicate Gordon employees were familiar with Liddell due to massive amount of chicken wings she would purchase. <laughs> the district's <laughs> business manager suspected foul play oh. when her mid-year audit determined the district was $300,000 oh, over yeah. its annual food budget. 
She discovered individual invoices signed by Liddell for massive quantities of chicken wings, an item that was never served to students because they contained bones. Prosecutors uh, So said, not one kid got a chicken wing? Not one. <laughs> Saddest Christmas ever. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Liddell was charged with theft and operating a criminal enterprise in January of 2023, and she pleaded guilty to the crimes ahead of her nine-year prison sentence. It's unclear what became of the chicken wings. <laughs> That's a Is lot she, of chicken All right. Wings. Here's my question, though. This depends. This, this will <laughs> help sway me on her guilt. Is she a flats or drums? Mmm. I mean, 1.5 mil, dude. It's everything. Yeah. It is, but what's her favorite? That's what I need to know. Is that in there? If she's real, it's the flats. That's what I mean. I mean, she looks like a drum gal. Yeah, new, new. If she likes flats, I say let her out. I like a girl that can get messy. So, flat, yeah, she, she's a flats girl. I'll if she could her. just snap yep. off the one end and then... Oh, dude. Now you just clean it. So they fucking push it down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Harvey School District could not be reached for comment. Oh, jeez. How hard Yo, did you try? Free Vera. <laughs> so hard. Okay. Free Vera. Free Vera, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm free Vera right yeah. now. I want to find out where she lives and just stop by. Probably Illinois, <laughs> where she's imprisoned at. <laughs> what she just said. Yeah, but her deep freezer probably still has chicken wings. Yeah, it would yeah. Be chicken if it, yeah they can't just disappear. a fucking pier. <laughs> How sick it would be if they let her keep the wings and she had to take them to jail? <laughs> dude, that would be the sickest jail you know ever. How, like, yeah, like, you know how they made, like, uh, wine in toilet bowls <laughs> yeah. in prison? She just has like sink wings. Yeah, <laughs> they're trying to make hot sauce out of crayons. <laughs> She's making it out of water and ramen packets. <laughs> yeah, what is, no, what is salt. Salt. It's salt. They're getting fire, uh, the fucking fiery hot Cheetos and shit. Yeah. What do they fry them with? Honestly, dude, on. like if you got like the spicy chicken flavor of ramen, you could take those ramen packets and mm -hmm. toss the wings in that. They're like a dry them in shampoo. <laughs> 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 in the toilet with the in a like, crock. Oh, fuck, dude. In a crock. Just, <laughs> oh, God damn. That'd be fucking great. Got the stinger out the I wall. I mean, COVID was a tough time for everybody. We can all agree on that. Fuck me up. Bro. And if, like, her, eh. if she had to get, like, a side hustle to make ends meet, like, selling chicken wings out, <laughs> meat, the, out meat. the back of the side, you know what I mean? 1.5 mil, though? She was a go getter. Did you not m listen when I said <laughs> there was very trying times on all of us? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like she tried to make ends. Work. And we don't I know that all of the, those wings. No, also, wow. maybe she was selling those wings to like support the whole neighborhood. That's just it. She's like, my neighborhood, everybody's just fucking suffering. It's the chicken shack. I'll, like, I'll start my own Vera's chicken <laughs> mm. just to keep I'm going. Even if it was just to feed mm -hmm. the neighborhood, not just make money to give to them, just to feed them. Yeah. Dude, how sick it be to live in Vera's neighborhood? I would love to. So I can't afford groceries this week. It's just okay. winged up. I just go to Vera's house twice a day, yeah. get winged out. <laughs> Twice a day, every day. Uh, nine years? They're wings. And then you'll hear about like her husband or boyfriend or whatever getting like uh, arrested for stealing tons of beer. <laughs> and then like her, one of her kids gets arrested for stealing tons of napkins. <laughs> then, like, <laughs> the great tons. hot sauce heist. <laughs> <laughs> great hot. It's like you hear about her daughter. She has stole like a million dollars worth of lemons. <laughs> the Illinois hot sauce caper. <laughs> Truckload of to-go containers just went what missing. What the fuck? <laughs> Bunch of moist towelettes. <laughs> it's so <laughs> funny. Dude. It's Thank like, dude, did you hear about that fucking celery farm that got robbed? What the <laughs> fuck was that about? <laughs> Who steals all that? Who steals twenty five school lunches? <laughs> Train car full of blue cheese. Yeah, I was gonna say, where's the blue cheese? Coming? Somebody robbed Ken's dressing. <laughs> I haven't found a carrot in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody robbed Paul Newman. <laughs> I have a gun under the Stole table. Stole his ranch. <laughs> Extra chunky. I gotta go back to acting now. <laughs> and I'm dead. I you were about to say Acme. Like, yeah, gotta he's gotta act at Acme, you know you what I mean? They have cheap chicken, but you can't get cheaper than free. It's true. So Vera's just more of a hustler than anything, dude. I mean dude, ain't, can't knock the hustle. Because you like you ask Vera's like, Vera, what's sleep? She's like, I don't know. I stay hustling. <laughs> yeah. I never sleep because sleep is the cousin of death. <laughs> I would marry Vera, dude. You should write to her. Unless she's one of those fucking, like, like prissy fucking wing people. Like, I only do hot and mild. Like, you can't do some, like, Caribbean jerk or some, like, fucking... Gar garlic parm? Yeah. Some lemon, lemon pepper? Lemon pepper, yeah. Well, Come you gotta, on, lady. She eats it with a... Here's a what you gotta do. Write to her just to get her recipe. Oh. Mm. See if she'd give it out. Because I'm Damn, sure... dude. Even if she responds with a no, it's still worth Fair it. Still I I'm issuing a challenge mm. to this podcast. Let's do it. Okay. Get Do a little, a little investigation. Mm -hmm. There's, it's not that hard to find out 
it, is it well i'm guessing she's still in jail mm-hmm. probably nine years yeah okay yeah find out where she is write her a letter and just say hey we read your story on the podcast We'd love to get a comment from you. How are things going? By the yeah. way, here's twenty bucks. Yeah, on the, on the yeah. Yeah. Some money, money on, on your books. commissary. <laughs> you can buy a lot of soups with twenty bucks. And just get the story, man. Get, you guys need to become investigative journalists. Write a letter to Miss well, Vera. Damn. Well, like Andrew Callahan, without all the raping. <laughs> I don't know that I need to. <laughs> you don't need. But to. I would. Kind of I would like to. But it would be fun. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, you're off this week. Go for it, dude. It might be really fun. <laughs> I do have I do have two days to kill. And then when she gets out, we have her on. Mm. Yeah. So we give her her redemption arc. Mm-hmm. We get her a job at Buffalo Wild Wings. Because <laughs> mm. she's not... I'm not sending her to she's fucking Wingstop. She's going to have Wings. her own joint, dude. I'm not sending her to Wingstop like a bunch of fucking... Where all those pussies go. <laughs> no, Wingstop... You, you let her go to Buffalo Wild Wings so she can get tips. Yeah. Because Wingstop's just like a walk-in spot, right? Mm-hmm. I've yeah. never been to a Wingstop. I haven't either, either. but I, I, I figured there's, it was just there's a There's one near the deli I go to. There's none in my area. But, I mean, yeah. There's one off of Main Street, too. And then by that time, we'll have all that sheath underwear and bet it, mybookie.ag. Blue Shoe. Blue Shoe. All that shit. So we can like sponsor her wing spot. Better help. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Just walk in with rock hard dick. And just be like... <laughs> <laughs> want that chick? Like, look, we have one pre was it. <laughs> You got to sell pickles, premium pickles. Fucking right. Why Exclusive. Exclusively. You can fry them if you want. And actually, you got to ask Xavier if you can sell them fried. But yeah, you got to sell them. Let me ask pickles, you guys. I, do like I, I, I really want to like support the homies. They're good. Who do I contact pick- to buy these pickles? They At have, Pickles, have, premium have, pickles. Yeah, they have an Instagram. On Instagram. Yeah, I, I follow them. Yeah. So uh, hit them up. All right. It's, or uh, I'll send you uh, Larry's information. Okay. Yeah, just yeah. hit up Larry. They just made a I've big batch. Yeah, oh, dude. oh, you're missing out. Larry's no. a fucking treat. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, not, they're not, fucking, not a pickle guy. They're fucking. It's, that, that, was, that was the biggest revelation. <laughs> that was worse than anything Shemwan's ever. I don't ever fucking tried. like them. <laughs> yeah, I don't like pickles. <laughs> Talk about a fucking twist. <laughs> I just like yeah. I just imagine Xavier I mean, I'll just take a pickle beat. J- just making like uh, the pickles and just in his head like this is my fight song. <clears throat> <laughs> just like take that, Dad. <laughs> I was telling you, uh, he throw like he just throws all the seasonings, like the, what he uses to season the brine with in there. Fucking right. When uh, I first brought the jar home, and I was just eating pickles out of it, I did eat a pickled clove of garlic in there. <laughs> I yeah, I, I did I it did. two weeks ago. <laughs> I'll do it again. And whatever that <laughs> fucking weed thing he had in there, like seaweed. That's dill. Dill. Is it dill? Yeah. yeah. Just a, I ate that too. <laughs> Was like, oh my god! It's like when in Rome, <laughs> and then drank the jar. Did you do I, it? Did you do like peel the freaking dill off of the stem, <laughs> or did you eat the stem? <laughs> did you just eat the whole thing? Like, just tossed it in. I, I didn't know if you were. Oh, just so, chew on it like waste celery. nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The he, it's a young young man starting his first business. Fucking right, dude. I'm, I'm not supportive if I don't eat his cloves and his fucking dill. I'm on such a pickle kick lately. <sighs> you got to get pr- uh, pickles, premium pickles. I'm I'm, I'm trying to get brined. I'm ru- I'm ru- I'm, ri- I'm writing a uh, script for a commercial for him, dude. That's awesome. Uh, the other tagline I want to use for want to show him for pickles, premium pickles, because get Brian idiot. Yeah, that was great. But what do you think of this one? Fuck Vlasic. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, right? I mean. Like he's like storks are no. corny. It, it, it is, and like just, we'll just have like. It'll have be like nature footage of storks like out like don't no, they stand on one leg? Those are cranes. Yeah. But don't storks do it too? Maybe. Nah, I don't know. Oh, because I was gonna have like uh then like Photoshop in like they're Ry- always carrying babies and shit. But just like like put like Ryu and Ken in there, just doing the leg sweep mm-hmm. and just taking out storks. A little Hadouken. That'd be fucking fun. Just sweeping them out. Just like cranes and flamingos and, and just like fuck Velasic is a good one, I think. I'm down. Yeah. I don't even want money for this. I just want pickles. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't want any money from that company. Just, just pickles. I want yeah. picks. I want spears. Yeah. I want. I want chips. Even a dill. Fuck it. Or like a bread and butter. Ugh. I'm good. Right. Well, well, I have had a good homemade one every All once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, every once in a while, I've had a really good homemade one, and if, if I've never had a good bread and butter, but I'm serious? willing to let him. Change Try my mind. It. Change my mind. If yeah. Young X is making it, I'm trying it. Yes, because that's just it. That like bread and butter is like a certain time and place and yeah. food. Well, what? some this, this I I it goes great denied the jar last time because I don't 
personally like pickles very much. Yeah. Okay. Now I kind of wish I would have taken it because then you guys reminded me of the existence of fried pickles, mm. which I do love. Yeah. I do mm -hmm. love fried pickles. I could have fucking battered them things, mm -hmm. but I do want Young King's uh, permission mm. before altering his product. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's not how. Young man, <laughs> can I fry your pickles? Pause. Yeah, that's not how. He's like, what if he's like? And what's your? What if he was like serious? Like, sauce? like, dude, this is my art. I uh, really don't want it being altered from the way I would respect I was it. I'd be like, it. you yeah. know what? I'm not going to touch them then. <laughs> like, all right, fair enough. I'll save them for somebody else who <laughs> will enough. love them. If you bread my pickles, I will end your fucking life. I really Jesus respect Christ, gave restaurants your now that like, dude, like as is. There's no modifications. Like, yeah, just the menu. This is what you get. Heard. Mm -hmm. I saw an interview with a chef that explained that. He's like, they're like, when we come up with a dish, we've got the flavor profile all figured out in our head and the seasonings and the preparation all figured out mm -hmm. to where like every part, every like step matters, every ingredient matters, every way it's done is matters to what the finished product is going to be. So if somebody were to throw in something like, well, don't include this or don't do that, it would completely throw off. Yeah. The chemistry or the mix of the of like the dish. Yeah. The so if you don't like that, don't come to my restaurant. Or don't order that yeah. Yeah. item. So yeah, I was like, first I was like, yeah, that's pretentious. But then I was like, then when I saw that explanation, I was like, oh, I get you. No, that makes yeah, I, that makes sense. Yeah, I understand now. This is what we do. I'm a little more forgiving of it now. Mm. Yeah, because like it's not like it. There, this place where like oh, it's just Salisbury steak or it's just like. You know, green beans, almond dean, or whatever. It's like it's just something everybody's already had before. But like, if they're making something special like that, mm -hmm. it's like they've got it figured out to a taste. Like, just let them let them cook. Yeah, just enjoy yeah. the experience. Yeah, literally. Yeah. You got any other? Yeah. 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 What do you got? Uh. Louisiana Governor Jeff Landry has a suggestion for parents who don't believe the Ten Commandments should be displayed in public school classrooms throughout the state. Tell your child not to look at them. <laughs> don't like it? Don't look at them. Oh. In his defense, think of all the shit that was what on the wall. been saying the whole time? <laughs> think of all the shit that was on the walls of your school, all your schools. Lots of it. Were, can you name a single thing? No, I can't. I can name one thing. There was a mural to a kid that died in high school, and that's the only thing I remember because it just coincides with the fact that the kid drowned in our pool. So in the high yeah. school pool, yeah. Jesus Christ! Shout out Stanley Downs, Jamaican exchange student. Uh, was he Downs? Well, down <laughs> under the water, yeah. But uh, that so if it wasn't for the fact that he died in the pool, or that his family came and tried to fight the, and beat up the gym teacher like a week later. <laughs> I never remember what was on the walls, but there was a mural to him. That's it. Wait, the family came in and tried to fight the teacher? Yeah, and they fought the wrong gym teacher. Oh, Hell yeah. Oh. yeah. That it was work. fucking nuts. It was like that marked for death by Steve was Steven Seagal. Breaking but, uh, arms everywhere? Yeah, but just all the shit like that was on the walls. Do you remember any of it? No. Just, so, the, just the hang in there poster. The Ten Commandments could have been up there. And you fucking wouldn't remember a goddamn thing. The only I remember is an American flag hanging in every classroom. That's it. I, I was about pledge. to say that. That's yeah. it. The Republican governor defended the controversial legislation, legisl legislation during a news conference announcing how Louisiana intends to fend off a lawsuit that argues that it is unconstitutional to hang the Ten Commandments in a state-funded school and college classrooms. Landry first signed the GOP-backed legislation in June making Louisiana the first state in the nation to require schools to exhibit posters of the religious text, which was revealed to Moses in the Bible and remains revered by the followers of Christian faith. But the move uh, prompted a coalition of parents, Jewish, Christian, Unitarian, Universalist, and non-religious, to sue the state days later in federal court. They argue that the legislation substantially interferes with uh, interferes with and burdens their First Amendment right to raise their children with whatever religious doctrine they want. I don't see what the big fuss is about, he said on Monday. The law requires all public K-12 schools and colleges to display the Ten Commandments by January. Louisiana public school students are returning to classrooms for the new year over the coming days, but as of Monday, Attorney General Liz Murrell uh, Muriel told reporters that she was unaware of any schools that have started hanging posters of the Ten Commandments. But they're required. 
As of January of 25, yeah. What ap- Does uh, the separation of church and state not apply to schools? That's what I mean. Yeah, I guess it, it should. I, it's a state-funded yeah. institution. So it shouldn't that's, be. That's the parrot's argument. Like, I get both sides. Like like you said, like if I was a kid, I'd be like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not even paying attention to this. But I, I knew quite a few kids in this situation, but did anybody grow up with Jewish kids? Whose parents sent them to uh, Catholic or Christian schools mm-hmm. because they were private and they didn't want their kids going to public school? I went to Catholic elementary school and there was a. I'm still friends with. Yeah, there was a couple yeah. Jewish kids. Because a lot of like the Jewish families, they don't want their kids going to public school. Mm-hmm. So th- the only private schools around would be uh, parochial schools. Mm-hmm. So you kind of send them there. So. It's funny you bring that up. And if because... the commandments are hanging in a pro, I'm sorry, but the, no, no. If they're hanging in a parochial school. Yeah, okay, it's a parochial school. Well, that's context. But if it's different. like a public school, you know, like. But also, I don't know a single one of those kids, uh, the Jewish kids that went to those schools that was like that any of that other than like you know the the church part of Catholic school. None that's... of it mattered. It's just like you don't just don't look at the walls. Who gives a shit? Stare at feet. I don't think the kids are offended at all. I think the parents are. Yeah. It's definitely parents. Yeah. What were you going to say, Matt? No, I was just, it's funny that it comes up because I was talking to my daughter today about, I don't even remember how it came up, but she, I mentioned that I went to Sunday school when I was younger. Mm-hmm. There was a, uh, a kid that joined at like sixth grade or something like that. He had just moved, he was from Africa, just moved to the U.S. His family was Muslim. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But they sent him to Catholic hmm. Sunday school for the structure. Yeah. Not oh. necessarily for what the messages were about. Yeah. Damn. And I was just like, it, it, I mean, still now it kind of fucks my head up. But, like, I, but think, I think they wanted a place to put him on the weekends. I'm <laughs> on Sunday yeah. morning for an hour. Because, yeah. <laughs> because if they have to go to mosque on Saturday, Sunday school on Sunday, yeah. he's not. And there's no school, so we might as well send him to, like, what's going on Sunday? A Sunday school? Oh, yeah, fucking send him, yeah. It's, and it costs what? Nothing? You're going. Yeah. I don't think mm-hmm. any of the kids, even like from kindergarten to uh, 12th grade, no one paid attention to what was on the walls of their school. And if you do, you're a psychopath. Yeah, it's like, what? Like, I mean, there's bad art. There's yeah. usually the mascot somewhere. Oh yeah. There's a shitty trophy wall of people yeah. from the seventies. It's in the line. Announcements you're not paying attention to. Yeah. I mean that's Yeah. My school was like super good at sports. Wow. So it was just it was yeah, so trophies. It was state championships. Or, or like, like posters like just blowing the the sports teams like mm-hmm. you gotta go see them on Friday. Like, nah, I'm past. I'm gonna go smoke weed. Wow. What's dugout. surprising about my school is I went to the same high school as Cal Ripken, but he's not anywhere on the walls. No shit. Yeah. Not- or he wasn't any they they the since tore, be named they tore down my high school and rebuilt a new one the year after I graduated. So maybe the new one's different. Suck it, high school. Where'd you go? Aberdeen. Oh, okay. My high school had a guy who played football named Randy White. Mm. I don't know because I don't watch football. But he spoke at graduation for like 10 years straight. And then the year I graduated, granted it was five years late, but everyone's like, oh, Randy White, Rev Randy White. Our vice principal was our speaker. (laughs) Granted, he's the man, but it's like, it was just fucking funny. Hell but yeah. I was so stoked for Randy White, and it's like it's Mr. Odom up there. <laughs> My school didn't have a speaker either. Yeah, I don't even remember mine. I that make really makes me think. I spent year like years of my life in these classrooms, staring at the walls, watching the paint melt off. Mm-hmm. But you took so, nothing from those walls s- in. Sometimes more than one year in the same classroom because you have a teacher teaching the next class or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I can't recall one poster. Yeah. Wow, that's that's very. You would have the ones that be like you know like, I don't know like a a map, or you would have ones that would have like the food groups in your health class or some dork shit like that. But I don't know, you didn't fucking pay attention. (laughs) There was remembered something. There was Miss Schwartz. What did you remember? No, he's about to say something. There was Miss Schwartz who taught like a social studies type class who had a Rolling Stones poster. I remember that. Ugh, (laughs) the tongue. (laughs) We had we had this like. The live shot. 75, 80 year old home ec teacher. And she did have posters all over the walls and like whatever. Somebody brought in the old Spencer shitless poster. Oh my God. With the turds on yeah, it, the different they're, turds. They're, they're, they're oh, like Bristol stool chart? What, I don't know. It was just, it had like cartoon drawings of shit. That's hilarious. All like the different types and like, 
it's like a big grid of oh, different okay, poops. Okay, okay. So and they okay. hung it in her classroom. <laughs> she didn't discover it for two years. Jesus Whoa. Christ. And nobody else had been in, like, no authority had been in the classroom. Mm. The kids who hung it up had forgotten they had done it. They're, that's they grad, great. Like, their kids are now there and, like, still there. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. One day it was gone, but... Oh god, that just just reminded me of that. It's fucking funny. It's just like this one janitor that cleans up after like school's out for the day. He's like, <laughs> uh, Mrs. Smith, did you notice? Nah, <laughs> janitors aren't narcs. It's true. Nah, it's true. I remember being in like tenth grade and just going in my computer class, printing out like fifty bad luck thirteen <laughs> logos on one sheet and I would just cut them out and I had pa- a roll of packing tape and just would just walk around the school and yo you were a fucking them. street team. <laughs> Damn yeah, really it was. fucking brown. You should have got Bad a fucking ass. jar of bees and some pig's blood for that. Ninety eight? <laughs> I think that was shout out to jars of blood. Jars of bees, dude. <laughs> uh, did I ever tell you that story with the jar of bees story? Uh we were hanging out <laughs> no. at a show and uh met uh, he used to play drums for Bad Luck early on. Was it Hal Daddy's, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. But uh, he was just like, uh, yo, these are some of the ideas I've, he was, uh, the ideas he had for stuff he wanted to do during a Bad Luck set because they were like, we're like getting beyond the fireworks and light bulbs and shit. <laughs> but he was like, <laughs> they're post fireworks. Yes. <laughs> like they wanted to up their game, which, all right, I respect that. But two of the ideas he had was one, he wanted to come in with mason jars. Uh, or like ball jars filled with uh, bees, live bees. <laughs> just throw them. And just throw them on the ground so they shatter, and then just bees go everywhere. <laughs> well, but I'm thinking of Tommy Boy. That's right? And then I, then I was just like, well, you got to make sure you poke holes in the lid so the bees don't suffocate. He's like, I didn't even think of that. And the other idea he had, he wanted to get like uh, a mechanics, uh, like those coverall jumpsuits they wear. like Michael you know, Myers? Yeah, like that. Yeah, like a Michael Myers gear. And fill it with live rats. <laughs> so you just come out before, like, when they're playing, and you unzip it, and just live rats spill out of your <laughs> clothes. Damn. I was like, okay, but what are you going to wear between the rats <laughs> and you? And you? Because it would have to be literally chain mail. Because they're going <laughs> to bite the shit out they're of you. They're going to fuck you up. It is yeah. proven throughout history. It's not going to be a little they nips. There's torture devices you. that they yeah. use yeah. these. Yes. It's not going to be nips or anything like, or, that, or pinches. It's going to fucking <laughs> take chunks out. Did they be... used to put them in a pot and just stick them on your belly? Yeah. Yes. And the only yeah. way they escape is by eating through you. Eating through you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They, put, yeah. they put hot shit on it so they have to. So they would have to escape the pot yeah, and yeah, yeah. run to your stomach. Yeah. So those are the ideas you had. I was like, I like where your head's at. Here's the here's the holes in your in your plants. Or lack thereof. Yes. <laughs> How does record label go? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Went right up his nose. Oh, oh, oh I know it. Did yeah. great bands too though. He did. He put out some really yeah, good dude. fucking records. Great records. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he put out Stigmata, Hints for an Unknown God. Yeah. yeah. He put out the first Heidnik album. He put out Sub Zero, Happiness Without Peace. I mean, he put out fucking bangers, dude. Yeah. Mm. The Philly Dust Crew comp? Jesus. If he would have stuck, forgot about the if he would have stuck with it, dude. But there was that one interview with him on like some documentary, and you could just tell he was gacked out of his fucking Damn. Mind. It was the first time he was the first time I ever saw Coke Jaw. And I was like, what happened to him? Does he have like arthritis or something? And then like one of the older heads had to explain to me Coke Jaw. <laughs> Can I have a piece of gum? Yeah, I was I'm just showing like, any gum. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, what do you got? Good times. What do you think about DUIs? They're sick. Boats. <laughs> yeah. Collect them like pro- <laughs> expensive. Boat DUIs. Boat DUIs are sick, dude. <laughs> an officer who won an award for uh, DUI work was arrested for a DUI oh. in uh, Tempe, Arizona. That's what we call <laughs> irony, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> an officer who had recently been awarded for his work in DUI prevention was arrested for driving under the influence. According to a traffic citation, offer- Officer Zachary Hyde of the Tempe Police Department received a DUI citation on Wednesday. Records show Hyde was going 10 miles per hour over the posted 35 miles per hour speed limit. That's bullshit. It is fucking bullshit. Right. Uh, the Arizona Department of Public Safety confirmed the officer's arrest. The Tempe Police Department said Hyde was off duty and is now on administrative leave prior to a pending investigation. He uh, Hyde was awarded 
uh, a hero award by Mothers Against Drunk Driving <laughs> for his hard work and diligence to ensure the safety of our streets, according to a Facebook post from the Tempe Police Department. Old this, man. This right here is Officer Hyde. Did they say what he blew? No. <laughs> Pause. Or who? <laughs> That's how you know the guy is a dickhead. I mean... Because you figure the person that pulled him over was like, oh, shit, you're one of us. Oh. You're only going like five over. Come on, I mean, just stop it, dude. Just, Knock it off. Just and get home safe. Get, get, home safe. Yeah, yeah. get the fuck out of here. Take a nap. But he was such a cunt that they were just like, fuck you. Fuck you. You're getting the whole nine. Yeah. Maybe he was such a cunt about it that yeah. they're like, know I'm a cop? They're like, oh, yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah? Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be swerving shit. Try to flex. I saw a date you hide. I saw a Dateline thing of many years ago. It was about one of the people that was a very big advocate for the Dare program, and uh, oh, I know exactly. And they got caught with, and this is '90s back in the '90s, tons, and I mean tons of physical videotapes and pictures of little kids mm. and like, cocaine too, right? A couple other things, but the 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 lion share of it was <laughs> yeah. little was kids CP? getting shit or fucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like there was other stuff too. Yeah, but that was like, it's like if you found like reams and reams of child porn, but like maybe like an eight ball, you know. But <laughs> it was just like, and I was like, even like you know, I was like, damn. So that's why I wasn't doing too, so many doing any <laughs> drugs. He was too busy whacking it. Fucking, <laughs> like, and it wasn't like now where like they just have files that they share on the internet. Like he had like apparently had like photo albums and he shit. He had to have an in and out of photo booth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like like physical binder photo albums just full of kid porn. My spare room's a dark room. Yeah. You ever thought? Yeah, I was gonna say you ever th- like I, I haven't thought about it, but <laughs> have well, you ever thought about? Apparently, I have. <laughs> well, no. How do these people get these developed? Uh, they do got, they do it themselves? They ha- it has to be somebody. They have to do it themselves. Has, per, uh, I guess uh, they would have to, wouldn't they? Why do you think Polaroid was so popular? My grandmother had oh, pictures of me naked in the tub, but I wasn't getting banged in the butter. Anymore. Yeah. I mean, I was spreading my cheeks. But... <laughs> I mean, that was, <laughs> after, that was after bath, obviously. Or before bath. The bath, the bath was the cover it up. But, uh, yeah, it's just like you would either. Oh, dude, like you would have to have somebody who can know how to do that shit. And they didn't like their garage or whatever. It's like somebody you sold. Or you had to <laughs> like hand off a fat envelope to a dude at a photo mat booth and just be like, look, are you cool? And do you like money? <laughs> Obviously, he's not. like, I'm not cool, but I love money. What's up? And just like, don't ask questions. Back then, it was like those standalone. Yeah, it's like in a parking lot. <laughs> yeah, in the middle, in the of, middle, of, in the middle of a bank parking <laughs> lot. How There's... terrible that job would be. Oh God. Hey, I'll make. You're younger. Do you remember those? No. They used to be photo development labs in a like a fucking like a hut. It'd be it'd be like a fucking uh, like a snowball stand in That's the middle of a parking lot at the, at the mall. This. At the, at the mall or at the grocery store. You ever like pull? And into, it was like drive through. You ever pull into a fair and like there's the ticket booth is actually like an actual booth. Yeah, it's like that. The only standalone in the middle of a parking lot. The only place I even knew to get pictures developed was ever like Rite Aid or Walgreens yeah. or Ecker. I mean Happy Harry's. It used to be in these tiny booths. I'm like in Walmart eventually. I'm not even talking about like just developing pictures or the money or whatever. Yes. Just being in that tiny booth for an eight hour shift. In the summer, it's gonna oh, be nobody, nobody makes them come out of the booth. <laughs> <laughs> only if you're I'll on the way. fish your fucking only head if... with a goddamn Louis Will. I'll Slug knock up. you and your lesbian fish eating friends in front of your fucking mothers. Yeah, but <laughs> that shit was nuts. And like, you didn't think anything of it. Now you look back, you're like, that job's literally insane. Yeah. <laughs> like asking anybody to do any job in a place that small is fucking nuts. <laughs> Because some of them are like seriously like it's like a phone booth, you know, like the bigger porta potties, a walk-in closet, like the bigger porta potties. Yeah, the handicap. It was that size. I mean, it is pretty roomy in there. But and so, then you think about you it, eight, eight hour hours shifts in there. Mm. But like, if <laughs> they're the developing the pictures in that booth, mm. the eighties, I don't know. Like, the, just yeah, the, yeah. I don't, see, I don't the know if they actually or... developed them in there. I think he was just the guy that handed them out. It's like they they sent them out. I think so. Them all. Yeah. Because kind of I don't think that that's that takes a lot of equipment and space. Yeah, that's, you can only store so many folders of photos and stuff. Yeah, they had them in like drawers. Well, or now, something. now it's Walgreens, but it used to be Happy Harry's around here, and it was like they actually had like a photo spot in it, and like I still you do. saw the dude's trays and shit with the liquid. The Target near my house still has one. Yeah, but, but it's like yeah. even if you go to a CVS now, it just looks like a big copier. 
Yeah, they just print them. Machine. They just print yeah, them right there. It's way easier now. You don't have to use any chemicals of any kind. You don't have to wait. Well, they but don't. You, you well, used to have to wait a week and come back. Oh, oh yeah. No, they do. I just dropped off a few rolls at a CVS a couple weeks ago, okay. and they they put them in an envelope and they send them out. Oh okay. no, no no for for actual film yes. I'm thinking more if you go in there with digital. Oh, it's just like a <laughs> yeah. It's a com- it's a computer. Yeah yeah. yeah. And they just print it out. The that, resolution that, that, was it, sucks. What do you call it? Like cardstock. Yeah. If you like pay that, for it, paper. Yeah. They have like camera stock with yeah. like the gloss on mm-hmm. the one side. Yeah, yeah. Glossy. But yeah, just to be. And they don't in, give you your fucking negatives back. And it's like this like Bullshit. really flimsy ass like little shanty Porta John booth, <laughs> and you're in the middle of a parking lot where everybody's just fucking nuts. You're like, any minute now, someone can just fucking in a pickup truck. And there's got to be a scene in an out. '80s movie somewhere where there's like the the fucking jocks are fucking with the nerd working in the photo booth. Well, no, everybody knows that dude sold the weed in the town. <laughs> well, we were talking, were you on the episode where we were talking about the movie Summer School? Yes. Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. Chainsaw? Ch- Chainsaw and Dave working yeah, yeah, in the yeah, fucking yeah. photo mat. That's right. Yeah. I was so happy Because they were going through the pictures and they found uh, there was, uh, some cho- there was the, basically the nudes. Yeah, they found like, titty pictures. They're like, look, I like this one. Nice triangular bush. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. so happy when the dog got his uh, stuffy head back yeah. at the end of the movie from the ocean. <laughs> yes. Fuck yeah, dude. Mr. Shoop. Yeah. Yeah, that was a great fucking movie. I want to rewatch that now. You guys, that it for news? No, I got one more. Oh, shit, I'm right. sorry. Go nuts, dude. <laughs> Sidetrack. Tan- that's, that's the whole point. <laughs> Larry Minute. Larry Minute. Oh, shit. <laughs> I hate that one. That's no good. I don't love the snot either. Uh. <laughs> well, we were talking, we've been talking, we've been on a seagull kick lately. Hey, we're on a seagull kick right now. Seagull time. An airport manager s- speaks out after getting robbed by a seagull. The one that got beheaded in the last story from the last episode? No, it's a different story. That's Did you why see I brought a picture of that dude, by the way? The guy who beheaded the... In Wildwood? No. We, no, we had a picture. I in, I inserted a picture in the clip. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that guy looked fucking... It's like, yep, he did that shit. Yeah. <laughs> he definitely did that shit. He did that. I don't know him, but he did that. <laughs> I think he was wearing a White Sox jersey. You know he was up to no good. No, this, this seagull... In jersey. Yeah. <laughs> this, seag- this seagull grabbed a guy's wallet... <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't stop the paper chase. The airport manager, Noah Carberg, was robbed in broad daylight on Sunday. Noah's and, deserve it. And the culprit had a beak and two wings. While Car- Carberg was uh, Dave Janice? Lo- loading groceries into his car, a seagull swooped down, landed in his shopping cart, and made off with his wallet. <laughs> it mugged me, Carberg said. It, gr- it just grabbed my wallet and went. His misfortune has gone viral on social media, especially since there's a video of the offending gull prancing about with the stolen goods emerged. God, the, Nan- <laughs> the Nantucket it's Current, cold bloody. <laughs> the Nantucket Current caught up and still somewhat baffled by uh, Carberg Monday to get his account of the crime. This is him with a, a superimposed image of a seagull. For funds, you make yourself. <laughs> I did not. It was like that. I wish it was real. At first, it, <laughs> it seemed like be. an uneventful Sunday shit? afternoon. Carberg had just finished navigating the crowd's stop and shop and was unloading groceries into his car. <laughs> I don't usually do the shopping. I was just coming back from fishing. Carberg said, "So I didn't have anywhere to put my keys and my wallet. So Carberg put them on the top tray of the stop and shop cart, thinking nothing could go wrong." And then he then walked around the car to open the door and begin transferring the groceries. That's when the gull struck. <laughs> it wasted no time snagging Carberg's wallet and taking off before he could attempt to grab it back. My first thought was, I'm going to have to get that guy because I want my wallet back, Carberg guy. said. My, the guy, quote, <laughs> guy. My second thought was, I probably look like an idiot chasing a flying bird through the parking lot. That's right. Carberg chased the seagull across the stop and shop parking lot, over the fence, and onto the roof of the neighboring car wash before finally giving up. The fucking roof? That seagull was <laughs> fucking with him. The so he thief- was parkouring after it. <laughs> the thief remains at large. Despite the best efforts of the Nantucket Police Department, <laughs> and Carberg has not recovered his wallet, but he appreciates the comedy nonetheless. I thought it was all fun and it was hilarious, he said on the social media response. Did he dispute the charges of french fries on it? <laughs> on his cards? <laughs> <laughs> it was the goal. 
<laughs> or pizza. <laughs> Cigarette butts. Yo, if I was a bird, I would definitely <laughs> buy a pizza. How funny would it be? It's like uh, somebody at pizza store is like, hey, boss, we got somebody. He just wants to order the crust. <laughs> <laughs> the handles? <laughs> like, what do you mean, just the crust? He's like, I don't know. He's like, squawk, squawk, give me pizza crust. Squawk, Did he give squawk. you an address to deliver to? He but, said, just throw it in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> in the stop and shop. <laughs> Just lay it in the parking lot and walk away from it. First off, this <laughs> this guy deserves it for leaving his wallet unattended. No one does that. But also, I really hope there's somebody on the beach that is just training seagulls to steal for him. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Like the monkey from that uh yeah. the fucking Yeah. Yeah. I forget what it is too, but I know what you're talking about. There's three of them. I don't like, remember the name of it all that, of a sudden. You mean the, from all of the Middle East where they do that now? Yeah. yeah. Dude, that shit. In Africa, and... or like those South America where they were uh, training birds to do their drug running. Oh yeah, backpacks. Yeah, that was sick. <laughs> birds of sick. That's Canada. Oh, fucking God, Jan's work. <laughs> British Columbia, actually. So sick, dude. No, but imagine if you're just sitting on the beach chilling, and all of a sudden a wallet falls in your lap. <laughs> dude, I'm searching that bad boy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll keep the cash and yeah. send it back. I'm sorry. No matter what a seagull steals from me, I'm just like. I had it coming. <laughs> this is all my fault. You see somebody out there just uppercutting birds. Like, <laughs> yeah. Psh, psh, ripping Which one their of you heads off. <laughs> Which one of you motherfuckers did it? I'll snap all your fucking necks till I find it. Ah, them fucking sky rats, dude. <laughs> you better not come to Sea Isle. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, dude. Like, I was funny. He's like, I'm, I'm more baffled by the fact that this dude just left his wallet in the shopping cart. He was unloading his car. He couldn't hold it. Put in your it. fucking yeah, pocket. Yeah, that's, uh, that's... You got a pocket. Maybe he had If he's a real on. man, he's got a lot of pockets. Yeah. yeah. Cargos. Uh, cargo. That's right. Maybe he's fishing. Yeah. yeah. Inside pocket in his jacket. Mm -hmm. You know? You ain't got a vest on. Right. I mean, shit, even though I was shirtless, I'd put that shit under my titty. Exactly. <laughs> even I invested in a crossbody bag. That's why I got so fucking fat. Yeah. So I could have more folds to hide wallets in. Mm -hmm. That's why. <laughs> I have a dollar in each one. Yeah. <laughs> I have 37 wallets on me right now. <laughs> if you shake me, pudding and wallets will fall out. <laughs> now we just got to start. Be the sonic the ring noise. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> start using. Like he hit a spiky now. ball. Yeah. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Did you hear about seagulls? They sold Dennis's chaos emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Knuckles is pissed. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is an echidna? <laughs> it's a uh it's a it's a, a real ro animal. It's a rodent. It is yeah. but similar to a hedgehog and uh yeah. a mole. This is fucking Yeah, what about my boy Miles Prower? Dude, that when I finally, That last name fucked me up. When I finally figured it out, I was just like, Huh? What? I've been Prower. here. Prower. Miles If Prower. you guys don't know this, Miles from yep. Sonic. His last name is Prower. Think about it. Yeah. Use your third eye. Yeah. And I always thought his name was fucking Tails. His real name is Miles Prower. It's Miles. Like, I always knew that because it's actually in the opening credits for Sonic 2. Mm. It says it. So I was like, all right, sick. I'm and not I, reading all that. But then I'm, I'm like, that shit. but I never put together what the name means. Miles per hour. Mm -hmm. Prower. And I was seriously, I was probably like 40 when I found out that's what it meant. And I was like, Whoa. <laughs> Like, why did they put so much thought into that name? But then you just got Knuckles. Because it's cool. Like, why? R Random Sonic facts. The reason they can't re-release Sonic 3 is because the Michael Jackson estate owns the rights to the, the sound. Like, the, 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 that's fucking the music bullshit, in the game. Dude. The whole they, soundtrack? They, it's, it's holding up the entire thing. That's why that... If you look at those, like... <sighs> release things like the collections and never shit. has Sonic 3 on it and that's one of the best ones yeah because that came out really right when one. Uh, Moonwalker came yeah out. Michael Jackson wrote the music for Sonic 3 mm. is that is it, that's the one that has like the, the, the top you can flip it up and put the other one on top of it right what or is that Sonic no, and that Knuckles no that was Sonic and Knuckles and you can put, you can put Sonic 3, 3 on and then and then you can play as Knuckles in Sonic 3 in Sonic 3 yeah, yeah. that's dope mm -hmm. that was sick yeah a little tower of power going it was, yeah, like, dude, it was, it was like a Genesis game this wild. tall it was wild as shit. Why couldn't somebody just hire uh, like unknown musicians to uh, cover I, the I've, songs? That I've said just write new songs for it, like yeah. like every other video game ever has. Because Sonic Three is fucking awesome. It man. is really good. They can easily put covers on there and be done with it. I mean, I don't know if that's since been resolved, but I just remember oh. for a long time they couldn't re-release it because he owned the music. Because that's probably how. He but was who owns his estate? His kids. Oh, his kids. Fucking Paris. But they're all like blanket. They're <laughs> Apple. they're like Ignorant. whatever. They're very little, so like that won't get figured out until they're. They're not like, little anymore, bro. 
No, they're they're, gr- they're adults. No, now. Paris is like twenty five or something. Oh, really? I thought they're like teenagers. I think she's yeah. a model or something. Hey, what's she deserves all the money yeah. she gets because there's no way in hell that was a good childhood. It's ignorant. No, this is ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> He just threw it out there. So yeah. I was like, damn, it was ignorant. It's just, there's no way in hell those kids had a normal childhood. So it's like any millions that are coming from the estate, they fucking deserve it. I'm not going to fucking. Yeah, I got dangled off a balcony. Yeah. <laughs> but check us out. I can go to college nine times if I want to and be perfectly fine and not have to pay for a fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Those kids deserve money. I mean, that's the ultimate like. Their mom's fuck- nuts too. That's Well, she was just like a nanny or something. I thought oh. it was Priscilla Presley. No, 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 no. It's she, Marie Presley. That, was only, that was only alleged, and yeah. they were they were in a relationship. They didn't have kids. No, he had kids. No, it was, it was like beefcake. Like, it was like a nanny or some shit. Oh, really? Like it, a nurse yeah. or something. Yeah. Did he fuck her, or was it like a? Oh, I, that I fucked they, her. They they say it was artificial or IVF or whatever. It was. They say it was artificial and Sam. But she was a Bertha. <laughs> like they. She was, yeah. She was. She was a Hulk and. Lady. She was a so handsome she, woman. She, yeah. <laughs> she like sturdy. A, she was sturdy. So how'd she get the nuts? Like she wore like a Cub Scout uniform? I don't know, man. Maybe dressed up like a freaking lollipop princess or some <laughs> shit. It's like this. I gotta go to Little League practice. Oh, get in here, maid. Meanwhile, she's like, <laughs> she doesn't have a name. <laughs> that Jay Ogre's a special where he said Michael Jackson's dick probably looked like dog belly. <laughs> 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 Fuck, that's great. <laughs> I love that so much. Oh, what else you got? No, that's it. Oh, I thought you did a whole bunch. I said I had one more, and that was one. Oh. Can we do a pee break? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> we uh, we all leave, and fucking uh, Tom puts on a Hawaiian shirt, and is like, now the experiments can begin. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Nobody's going to get that reference. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's he's just being negative. He's trying to throw us off the fact that he's a fucking dog fucker. No, man. You just, nobody knows Doctor uh, Island Doctor Moreau. Damn, some of Val Kilmer's best work, dude. No, I thought it was Marlon Brando. He was Val Kilmer's in it too. Oh, whatever. Wasn't he the lion or some shit? No, Val. Uh, yes, but uh, um, what's his name? Marlon Brando was Doctor Moreau. Yeah, yeah. Val Kilmer was like a weirdo. Peruza bulk. Yep. See? Was that that was that was his last movie, right? Marlon, yeah, one of yeah, because mm. uh, he actually they gave him an earpiece because he refused to learn lines, <laughs> so like he had somebody like saying the lines into his ear and he would just repeat them. That's so awesome because he just didn't give a fuck and was drunk and just didn't care. But he's yeah. fucking Marlon Brando. That yeah. dude fucking <laughs> is just wild. Yeah, he was doing that shit on the set of uh, what you call Apocalypse, Apocalypse now. now. Yeah, and that was before he got super old. He was just it's like the seventies. He's like, I don't fucking care. Like, what's up? Like, I don't not learning these lines. Everyone's like, even right. his character in Apocalypse Now was that ego, like yeah. centric. Yeah, so he probably just. I gotta rewatch that. Well, apparently he got into some really wild shit outside of movies too. So, mm-hmm. like, really, really young ladies. But anyway, I heard it was guys. Yeah, I thought he was into guys. But he's also the kind of person that, like, I see him fucking anything. Oh. Okay. And not because that was his preference, but just because he could. Because of boredom. Yeah. 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 It's like, eh, not a lot of people are attracted to the brick walls. I fuck him anyway just because I can. Like, mm. all right, party on. Killer boots, man. <laughs> Killer boots. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's it. <laughs> <laughs> we got a, he's, he's fucking killer boots now. Uh, we have a recurring segment on here every week. Uh, Tom and I give each other a comedy special and a piece of music to listen to, or some variation of the two, and we report back the next week on what we thought. Uh, we would normally ask uh, our guests to contribute as well. But last week, we did not have any guests. So it was just me and a little guy all by ourselves. Yeah. Just won't we? Uh, so uh, I got some feedback uh, oh, go on. about that. Apparently, our listeners like when it's just us every once in a while. Yeah, it's okay. ch- they they say it's chiller. I hate and it. it's laid back. It's cool. I hate it because um, I don't like because you're an autist. I just don't like you. <laughs> you're like unbearable, tough to be around. But even the episodes yeah. I've listened to, <laughs> mm. like thou, <laughs> thou doth protest well, too much. We're really good at this. Is the bottom line, <laughs> but I really just don't like Tom I don't respect him he's stupid 
He smells funny. But toes, butt cheeks. Jesus. Now, do you want to go first or we go first? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know I was kidding, right? You don't need to be at all sad. I'm not sad. I'm waiting. Sad, dude. I'm waiting for you Here's to say like, dude, anything. Dennis doesn't like me. Oh my god! I'm just gonna go hang it up. Might as well just cash out now. Yeah, almost made it. He's gonna go blow a fucking exhaust pipe. Um, do you want me to start with music or uh, comedy? Yeah. Uh, well, let's start with comedy. Uh, you gave me uh, no. Nick DiPaolo, another senseless killing. Mm. Um, I kind of gave up on Nick just because of where he is now, where he's just super right wing and just. He's a lot. And just like those people were some talking of the about shit earlier. that comes out of his mouth is just kind of inexcusable. So you're just like, God damn it. Like but, th- there's there's one thing about like dancing the line, he like jumps over it on purpose. Yeah. Uh but but this first off, I'll leave my niece's picture up. She's kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, that one got I was like, oh man. <laughs> Told my wife to bleach her asshole and she threw bleach in my face. <laughs> yes clit, clit.org slash nipples <laughs> trying to get a nut off to a girl being chased by an eagle seven and a half out of ten good special but it's so depressing because you forget how genuinely funny and just mean he is yeah and it's just like so that's like one of those like there's a lot of like comedians that have gone off the deep end and you're just like all right whatever there's plenty of comedians out there who gives a shit we lose one but he was he's so good Mm -hmm. so it's like it's almost to the point where like i might listen to his racist shit because it's probably the funniest racist shit you'll ever hear but just to see how he does it yeah but it's like god damn it you're so good at this why couldn't you just dial it back even in that special he dropped the soft a Oh, yeah. Did you hear how quiet it got when yeah. you did that? What was it 2015? <laughs> 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pin drop silent yeah. after he did that. So, and he just fucking steamrolled I right had over it. all his old albums. So I was like, all right. So then I found out two that released one right before that and one right after that. I've got them saved in my queue. I'm going to watch them later and hopefully they're, I can just we'll remember see. how funny he was. I'm not going to check out the one from like 2021. I was like, no, I'm good on that. But yeah, it's very good and very funny. So it kind of makes the fact that he went off the deep end just a little hurt a little bit more. Yeah. Um, I don't know if anybody else listened or enjoyed it as much as I... Did you guys listen to it at yeah, all? Yeah, I watched or listened. What did you think? Dude, I'll put it like this. I love Apollo. That whole class... That he came up with. Yeah. They're the like, funniest people who've that, ever that's lived. That's just it, dude. They're all legends now. They're like, the, the like funniest Patrice. people who have ever lived. Yeah. Norton. Norton, Quinn, Voss. Yeah. Kelly. Exactly. Geraldo. Yeah. Exactly. My thing is... <laughs> I, I have a theory. Keep going. It should have been freaking DePaulo instead of Norton. Or not Norton. Patrice. Uh, instead of Kelly, maybe. No, no. Um, instead of Patrice dying or Geraldo? Geraldo. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Like, because they all, like, I, I grew up watching the fucking comedy. Cent- yeah, talk cent- crowd. Dude, I would, tra- I would trade three of those guys for Geraldo back. But that's just it. I would totally take, like, DePaulo was always good. Mm-hmm. Talk shit. It's that era. I mean, that's why we, yeah. we're all friends. Shorties all watching just, shorties. Exactly. That shit. Like, Legendary. God, God like, no one talks about that shit. If he just not gone that far into the deep end, he could still be like a fucking huge deal but he just god damn it's his ad i don't know he got politicized a lot in the last few years too it's even more oh yeah Mm -hmm. i mean shit talking he was bad back then oh yeah but the thing is was he was always on like uh the same panel from the show as those like him and patrice and like keith robinson so you had those two to keep him from going too racist and that fact that Patrice was just as racist as him. <laughs> so it was like a great balance yeah. and it like complimented each other but just you got fucking boss coming in on the side. <laughs> yeah. I think the nail in his coffin was Kumia being fired. Oh yeah. Because well, he got fired from Sirius too. DePaulo did. But I'm saying like once Kumia was fired and he was like fine I'll do my own thing he was like I could just kind of ride Ant's coattails and make a living off of the compound media thing. Yeah. And I don't have to worry about this serious shit anymore, so fuck them. Yeah. 
I'm, and ever since then, it's been worse and worse and yeah. worse and worse. So. He fell into the hole. I was like, oh, they're trying to cancel me. I'm like, Shit. shut up. No, Matt, man. did you? Yeah, so um, I'm the cream of the crop. I rise to the top. I never eat a pig because a pig is a cop. Or better yet, a Terminator mm-hmm. like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Tried to, Tried to put me up with his name was Sega. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I was oh, hoping yeah. Review Matt would be here today. Yeah. <laughs> You asked me to come here like less than 24 hours ago. I did not listen to this. It was an, it's an hour car ride. That's I listened true. to your last episode on the way here. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Do you want to go on what comedy I brought you? Yeah. Or do you want me to just jump to music? I'll jump to comedy because okay. speaking of that crew of guys, you gave me the, I guess, most recent yeah, Jim Norton record. A couple weeks ago. Uh, gender Reveal Disaster. Yeah. And... uh Man, fuck listening to things on YouTube. It fucking sucked ass. It's not on Spotify? No. Oh, shit. The, but but the first thing that made me laugh was the crowd interaction with the woman uh, with the UFO story. And he said, <laughs> is that when you saw two lights and you heard, and you were being the kid from Pet Cemetery? <laughs> And the turn on the abortion joke mm-hmm. about him being five <laughs> when, when his mom got one. And the, uh, let's see, the, the vaccination status and re- and the reward chunk. Uh, I want my little gift. Guy, guy with a hammer comes from the alley. <laughs> and the emotion, emotional support peacock, a prehistoric cunty bird. Isn't this nice? Ah, and, and comfort <laughs> fleshlight. We're going to hit a little chop. <laughs> I thought it was, I thought some of it was so fucking funny, but like I mostly it was, it, it was mostly just good. Yeah. It wasn't greatness, but it was good. Like so you appreciated it. Yeah, yeah, because it's it's Norton, but the like the things I pointed out, I laughed so hard at, especially the, the <laughs> fucking peacock thing. Fuck when me he up. does those noises, it yes. just fucking fucks me. I was like, oh god. When he used to go on the animal rants on O and A, it's like it's cu- <laughs> the bears are like ah. It was like god damn it. Dude. <laughs> yes, I gave it a six. <laughs> it's not his best, but that's like it was good. He's my favorite comedian, so I can't. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when you take photos, I could easy. I could easy. <laughs> I, I, I also question Is, putting out an uh, album instead of a, a yes, live special. Stop. Like you have to be in front of a crowd to record it. Just I think he's just got to be such a dinosaur because like mm. he's still on the radio, but he has a reputation where he yeah. can do that. Shit, yes, dude. and he won't. Or That's even like YouTube. Like I know yes. YouTube's like fading off with like now. Not really. It's not, not for people like him. Nah. That's just it, dude. Fucking produce it yourself. Throw thirty yeah. grand like into yourself. He's got and... that. Yeah. So I just think he's such a. A lot of the older guys don't want to like. They're like, "Well, oh, I got to do like a network. I got to do like yeah. you know." Got to go to HBO. No, no, like, yeah, no, you don't. And like, I'm sure there's tons of people in his ears. Like, no, you can just do YouTube and you'll be fucking yeah. fine. I think just... the first comic to do a Hulu special coming up is Burr. No, oh, uh, Burr's going on Hulu. Yeah, somebody else is. Um... Uh, the first one is, um, God damn it, Gaffigan. No, I thought somebody. No, there's a, there's, there's, there's they somebody just, else. They just announced four of them. It was. Burr, Gaffigan, Chris DiStefano. DiStefano. Oh. Yeah, and I forget who the fourth is, but it's somebody good. And they're all going to Hulu? Yeah. Interesting. Because they're doing like, they're you know how Netflix has Netflix as a joke? Yeah. They, uh, they Hulu's laughing now. Oh. It's like, they're trying, because Hulu's trying to start. Well, that's cute. I fun. mean, they got the fucking money. Dude. Well, there's there's money on the table with fucking stand-up, also, so it's not stupid of them. Gaffigan and Burr is a good fucking... First two specials to throw out too. Yeah, yeah. It's not like you're gonna get both sides of the spectrum. Yeah, you're not you're coming out with like B team. You're coming out with a a plus guys. And Burr hasn't. I mean, the Red Rocks special felt like half. Burr ass. has never had a stinker. I mean, I love the Red Rocks special, but like it felt like he hasn't put one out since then. So he's had no. years to work this hour. Yeah, like. It's going to be good. Yeah, that's probably why his specials are always so damn good, because he takes his time. Yeah. Matt, did you... Uh... Yeah, so, <laughs> hello, me. It's me again. <laughs> me and my misfits. <laughs> my, my misfits way of life. You can subdue, but never tame me. <laughs> it gives me a migraine headache 
sinking down to your level. You just keep thinking it's my fault. Stay an inch or two out of kicking distance. Mm -hmm. Mankind has got to know his limitations. <laughs> this is my favorite character. <laughs> I love it so much. He didn't. I didn't recognize what he was saying because he didn't say it through gritted teeth. Because he didn't snarl. Yes. <laughs> Hello, me. <laughs> it's the real. Man. I was debating on which verse to use, and you decided it was going to be the first one. No, sir. Yeah, it's a guy. Third good. verse. You kind of deep cutted it. Yeah, third <laughs> verse. Is any the only thing funnier than Dave Mustaine doing that? Is Beavis doing it? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, anybody who loves like a good like something to look at while you're taking a poop. Beavis and Butthead reacts on Instagram. Oh, that's great. That's all you need to worry about. It's like the classics, like the video is so mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. The loop echo one is so fucking good. <laughs> I fucking love it. Oh, that, fuck. Um, Music. You, you want me to go or do you want to go? I'll go. Uh, you brought me uh, Gut Fed, uh, The Reign of Pure Madness. Um, Starts with the air raid siren and machine guns. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it did. Rat a tat 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 a tat. And then, grrr, then drums, 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 drums. And then I'm all like 10 out of 10. Uh, it's caveman and dumb as hell. But I fucking love it. I love when they do like the kind of polka skip beat too. Like in like My towards the middle beat. of the record. The boom, 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 boom. Like when they're not just doing like, because normally like the first two songs are just all fast and then all slow. But then they started going a little goofy towards the middle of the record. It was like the better, so, like the better stuff. It's nothing groundbreaking or nothing, you know, super creative, but it was just a fucking very enjoyable record. Uh, I liked it quite a bit. Uh, 10 out of 10 is being generous because it did have the two things I like. Uh, snares that sound like artillery fire and the bass drum that sounds like a bouncing basketball. So I was like, yeah, this is... It hit, all, yeah. the, hit all those spots on it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I don't know anything about this band, but if they ever came through town, I'd be there. Um, did anybody else listen to Gutfed? Yes. What did you think, Brentley? Um, I very much enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, first I thought it was Guffed, <laughs> but my only like guffed hiccup is a was sick name. Guffed <laughs> is pretty sweet. <laughs> Waiting. No, there's a verb we didn't think of earlier. Yeah. It's like flummoxed. But like, <laughs> I wish guff. the fucking the dodgeball snare, obviously with slam shit. Yeah. Like, just put the guitars up a little bit more. The snare mm -hmm. was very loud in the mix. No, I mean, which I get, as yeah. it should be. Like, I know what they were going for. Just just raise the guitar levels just a yeah. smidge. Yeah. That's all I got. That's six out of ten. Yeah. Matt, did you listen to Cutfed? I did. Um, so, if we took a holiday, <laughs> <laughs> took some time to celebrate... <laughs> Come on, let's celebrate. Oh, yeah. Holiday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just take one day out of life. Come on. Holiday. It would be. <laughs> it would be. It would be, so it would be nice. so nice. That fucking stinks. It smells like food. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who eats that? <laughs> you, you guys are fucking great. I love it. Just keep fucking tornadoing around me. <laughs> what if they create a tornado? <laughs> what food does that smell like? I don't know. Something, though. I mean, I had carnitas. <laughs> it doesn't smell like carnitas. I've had plenty of carnitas in my life. It doesn't smell like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Go ahead, Thomas. Nah, you gave me a record that you previously had given me before. I did? Yes. On episode 82 with Kalen, you assigned me this record. Why didn't you say something? I forgot in the moment. Oh, so we're both But idiots. I was like, this the name of the record sounds familiar. And then I looked it up. And I was like, yeah, he assigned it to me before. But you know what happened? What? The following episode was the Fixed Dennis episode. Yeah. And I like somehow lost my review because I didn't give you I didn't give my review. At the end of the episode, you were like, So you didn't do it. And I was like, I guess I didn't because my notes were just gone. But I have them. Oh, Tommy. I have the notes right here. So now you will finally get the review from So waiting on that new sweat for review. From uh I gave it. I gave that review. It was the, it was this one that I didn't give, and that is, uh, Hellburst Chomo Lungma. That's. I thought it was two words. It's one word. I don't know what the hell that means. It is a. Uh, it's a Nyantiti word, 
mean Chavo which is uh, <laughs> I know what Chavo means. <laughs> it's which is a a Mozambique uh, Nam- Namibian uh, dialect, and it means fair, mm-hmm. according to Google Translate. Huh. I said it was sounds like a more subdued, like thrashy Watain, and uh, I'd watch it live, but I w- I will not listen to this band. Uh, I'm not thrilled by it, but I didn't. Al- I also didn't want to put it down or uh, turn it off. The riffs were fucking great, but the vocals leave just a little to be desired. And with uh, the song titles being in, I guess, German, I had to do a little homework and make sure that it was on the up and up. But it was. But even with even with songs like Apocalyptic Rape, Rape Cult, let's see. Uh, Die Ersten Toten, which just means the first dead. Uh, Noche Triste, which just means sad night. And then the title uh, track meaning fair. But I said it was like a six and a half. It was, it was, it was quite, it was quite good. But some things just kind of took me out of it. And just but the vocals, or ju- I guess it was just the vocals because all the all the instrumentation, all the shit. Like I let that shit play and play and play when I was listening to it, and I had a great time. But I was like. It's it's fine. It's good. Yeah. Anytime I I find a band I like that has any kind of uh, foreign language in the titles or the band name, I instantly have to Google it to make sure I'm not listening to something sketchy because I don't right. want to fucking get invested and then find out, get like super into it. And I'm like, oh, oh man, oh no, <laughs> lost like, profit situation again. Yeah, son <laughs> of a bitch. They had sex with what? God damn it. Ugh. Them dogs are at it. It's like that old Chris Rock. I'm like, he did it with a seal. (laughs) How you do that with a seal? (laughs) Shimmy, shimmy, y'all. Yeah, but mine's like pretty much the same as yours. Like, it's not reinventing the wheel. It was good. Like, wouldn't turn it off. It moved right along. Yeah. Like, I I, I put, I listened to it three times, but it was just. It's only nine tracks. Easy. It's it's just, all right. It's good. I can, I can dig it. What did, what did Matt think of it? They told him, don't you ever come around here. <laughs> don't want to see your face, you better disappear. The fire's in their eyes, and their words are really clear. So, beat it. Chumalungma. Just beat it. Do you know, speaking of the song Beat It, I was probably about 40 when I realized what the title meant. Like, get lost, get yeah. out of here? Yeah. And it's obvious now, right? Mm-hmm. Like, why? Well, if you read the lyrics, yeah. But I was like, <laughs> "What are you thinking about?" I can dick? continue to finish them. Yeah, for but you. when I was like, younger, I I didn't put that together. Even though I actually use phrases like "beat it, take yeah. a hike and shit. I was like, "Oh, uh, I was like, beat it. What is he? <laughs> beat it? I was like, "What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, basically, yes. He's a moron." I was like, "Why is he saying beat it? That doesn't make it like like oh, what he's saying is if you find yourself in a dangerous situation, get it, get out, get out of it. Yeah, leave." And I was seriously, like, way too old to have finally had that revelation. Like, it wasn't when I actually heard that, because I'm old enough to remember when that shit was new. And I was like, why didn't you figure this out, you fucking idiot? That was the song with the Van Halen solo, wasn't it? Or was that the yeah. Lu- was that Steve Lukather? Yeah, that was, that was Eddie. Yeah. Oh, Eddie, you slack-jawed yokel. <laughs> R.I.P. Now, um... For next week, uh, we like I said, we do ask our guests to take part in this. Uh, you can recommend music, comedy, whatever the fuck you feel like, and we will report back on it next week. Uh, Matthew, do you have anything for us, buddy? I do. I have two records. Your voice is sounding so sultry. Thank you. Or me or him? You. Oh, thank yours. you. Are you wet? When am I not? Not yet. No. <laughs> I think your armpit's sweat. That's pretty cool. So I... um. <laughs> <clears throat> kind of going with a the theme of uh, bringing up Swarm of the Lotus last week, mm. or last time I was here. Uh-huh. Um, being a Baltimore band, I was like, what other cool Baltimore bands have there been? <laughs> Dennis is is aware. Tom may not be. but uh, So I'm bringing two Baltimore bands from... <laughs> we were discussing Brick on our Patreon episode. <laughs> mm. So the first one... He just glossed over that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, Torn Apart, the 59th session. Oh. That was uh, that was my band. Like, 
being from Baltimore, Torn Apart was big deal to me. I loved that band. Was that his name's Drew? Drew. Drew was cool. Drew's one of them. Brett was the singer. Yeah. Drew was the one I booked through. Mm -hmm. Drew Masaryk. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's uh, mm. early, I'd say like an early, early metalcore band. Like they were, they started in like 94, 93. Hmm. That record came out in like 99. They went for that real chaotic metalcore type shit. Hmm. Interesting. Um, the other is the newer record came out in 2022 for a band called Triac. We just had them on an episode. I gave him a, um, an EP. Yeah. Uh, this album is called Pure Joy, Numb Grief Stricken Animals. Their claim to fame is this is Kevin Bernstein's band. Yeah, I know Kevin. So this will be a biased review when I bring it back. Just but Triac, this record is really fucking good. Well, if you want to get me. fucking technical about it, technically you know these torn apart people too. I only like through email. I knew them in 1997. Yeah. <laughs> if we're going by your yeah. guys' fucking rules. Email, yeah. he showed up. I was like, I hey, paid him. Are you Drew? Yeah, I'm Drew. All right, you guys going at nine. Here's your money. <laughs> so your best friend. We're friends. You're saying. <laughs> uh, well, I was in his wedding. <laughs> I had a third record, but I'll leave that off. I don't give a fuck. You want to put it in, put it in. You guys want a third one? It's No. It's fast. <laughs> Well, Triax fast. Just save it for another time or something. Right. What a curmudgeon. Nope, then I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> uh, Brent, you got anything for us, buddy? Do you want hard or goth? Yes. Yes. Uh, all right. Fuck it, dude. I listened to it on the way here. Uh, Visceral Discord. <laughs> another one. <laughs> this will also be biased. We shared a practice space with those guys. No, nah, I thought that was Future Sec. It was Peter Sack. They were in the same spot as us, too. No. They, they went down all. I don't know if they were in the building. Which one? What's record? Um, in, ingesting uh, Putridity. Yeah. You ain't got to twist my arm to listen to this shit again. It's Baltimore bands. I'm telling you. It's fucking just. The, it, just. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and for comedy, I mean, you can just Ooh. do that. Um, you can do all of it. I've been I don't going know. This back. record doesn't sound very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Ingesting putridity. But I've been going back and listening to the old bonfire when Dan Soder was on with ah, AJ. The good times. Yeah. yeah. And like it, extra credit, you don't have to. You got an episode in mind? We can do an episode. No, just a topic of that they covered. Oh. The Tale of Two Corys. It's free on YouTube. Yeah, that is so good. Just yes. watch that movie and yes. let me know how long you make it through because one, it's insane, it's yeah. hilarious, and it's horrible all at the same time. <laughs> I think it's in my save like my, <laughs> like I'm in a bad mood. Listen to this type of stuff. Yeah, I, it's fucking great. I can't wait. Tale of Two Corys. <laughs> just... If it's them two, I'll listen to pretty much anything. Yeah. No, just watch no, the movie. See, the actual uh, movie. And like it's really funny. And then yeah. you can Let's see. watch the movie and then go back and listen. Like it's four hours. Gotcha. I'm not gonna put you through that, like with Big J and There's a uh, like super cuts of it on YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude. Yeah. Insane. I was <laughs> like my coworkers thought I was retarded because I was just cracking well, up to myself. Uh, that's what that's what it took. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tommy, what do you got for us this week, bud? Let's see. Real quick, I want to give you a bonus assignment. Okay. Watch okay. Summer School. Fuck yeah. <laughs> you know, I've never anywhere? seen it, so. Are you serious? Oh. Yeah, I'm dead serious. I mean, yeah. it did come out <laughs> probably probably before you were born. I was really Great young movie. when it yeah, came out. Yeah, it was like, was it like 85, 86? Yeah, I was born in 91. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dude sleeping all day because he was stripping at night, but even though he's <laughs> seventeen. <laughs> what was the nerd guy's name like Ekian? <laughs> oh, dude, he was great. Yeah. He helped him with the bunny. Easter shoe, <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Okay, well, I gotta find <clears throat> out if that's streaming somewhere. I've got, I've got one more don't tell special I wanted to okay. give you, and it's by somebody you just assigned me not that long ago, and that's Jeff Asmus. But uh -oh. the title of it is "Boomers Are Embarrassing." I have this saved too. It's a great one. Yes. 
Boomers are embarrassing. It's like uh, it's like 10, 11 minutes. It's easy. Also, if you're listening to this, uh, Jeff Asmus has his um, YouTube page has a bunch of like I know crowd works overdone, but he has like these 10, 15 minute like crowd work clips of him just like he starts off his sets with crowd work, and I'd say ninety percent of the ones he's po- he puts up on his YouTube are fucking hysterical. He's doing it at least once a week. It's fucking He's nuts. Always posting it's always, and, he, and he like does these purpose purposeful clickbait titles like Comedian Destroys San Francisco. And it's just but they are like legit fucking hysterical. And I don't know who does his like art or like his graphics or whatever, but yeah. it's always cool. Yeah, yeah. And the fo- the photos he posts on his YouTube page are funny as fuck. Yeah. Them. He's a fucking treat, that guy. Yeah, don't uh, the don't tell boomers are embarrassing is what yeah. it's called. Um, I'm gonna go untraditional here. I have two musical assignments for you because what? one is one is a demo. You're a demo. I think I, Brent. I think you'll particularly like this, <coughs> Dennis. You probably will too. The okay. band is called Fatal Realm. Okay. Okay. Demo 2024 is what it's called. The terrible name. Fatal Realm. Yeah. It's easy to find. It's but, a little bad name though. Uh, I also and and then I have a like a I have a uh, a Pittsburgh band that gets no credit anymore. Uh-oh. Yeah, the band is called Unit Seven Thirty One. Tell me, it's the one in Latin. It is Plague Upon Humanity. Dude, okay. that opening. Mm-hmm. I saw them at the Grange one time. Dude, I saw them in Easton, Pennsylvania, with tennis swords. Yeah, that rules. Five people. I saw them with. That sounds about right. But like I was. I saw him with Path, Path of Misery. Nice. AJ's yeah. old band. I encourage yeah, yeah. everybody listening to this show to yes. listen to Unit 731. Yes, yes. Please. Because when I think of Pittsburgh, I, I think, think of this unit. band. Yeah. They have another record that's got a a, a Latin title. It was after the this second one, wasn't one. it? Very good. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then the third one was Hive Mind. Yeah. 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 I think it was a Hive Mind EP. No, that's full length. That's yeah. LP. I thought that's, one was an EP. That's the only one you can even find merch from. Yeah. Because the only people who bought it was from there. <laughs> yeah. But that like, wanted, against humanity is. I want to say Bose might on his place might have a uh, Unit 731 merch. That's just hive be mind shit. Place. Oh, okay. My bad. Now, what do you got? Do, 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 do. Now, this might be hard to find. Oh, great. This will be good. This is a comedy album. It is on YouTube. I have it saved, but other people listening might have trouble finding it. It's by a, a comedian that is no longer with us uh, named Sean Rouse. R-O-U-S-E. Sean is S-E-A-N. And the uh, um, album is called Spilled Milk. He was part of uh, like the Doug Stanhope crew, like that the Unbookables. Doug gets high. Like, I yeah, yeah. Know. he's or, from that crowd. You know uh, he died many years ago, but this is a little older record, but he is fucking great. And it's, it's called Spilled Milk, and staying on the milk tip there is a band called from uh, Long Island uh, called Millhouse. And the album is called Obscenity in the Milk. Kind of a spazzy hardcore record that I enjoy quite a bit. What's it called again? Obscenity in the Milk. I think it's pretty much just nonsense lyrically, but all this dairy is going to make me fart. I deep. know, right? You're going to be a gassy lassie, mm-hmm. but that's what I have for you this week. Yeah. Unless you wanted to listen to torture. Yeah. Dude, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Some basic bitch shit. Yeah. There's so much better stuff. Uh, Patreon.com slash I R R A N D I L L. Not the first, won't be the last. What? Sadly. Mm. Bands like torture. Oh, I was so bad. It won't be our first Patreon. I was like, <laughs> what? It is our first Patreon, you silly guy. Uh, oh, oh. Pa- shut up. <laughs> Patreon.com slash I R R A N D I L L. Surprise for you. We're opening a second Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com slash I R R A N D I L L. Three dollars a month gets you an extra episode plus a bunch of other goofball shit we have up there. And Mike Murrow will send you a free case of wrap snacks on the house. On the house, all you gotta do is give him your address. Mm-hmm. He will show up at your house. He will not have pants on, and he will be Italian. 
We'll have to call Rick Murrow to escort him yes. off the property. Shout out Rick Murrow. Shout out Pickles Premium Pickles. Shout out Parlay Philly. Mm-hmm. So go check out the Patreon. We got a bunch of goofball shit up on there. Uh, Drunken Guess Who. Uh, uh, Are You Smarter Than a Dildo is coming soon. Um, we got a bunch of other shit there. Hell, we might even fucking invite you on the goddamn podcast. <laughs> Dude, uh, put me in on the next... Put me in, uh, coach. What? Uh, the next listening party. All right. I did one before. You did. did. You definitely did. Uh, that was a good day, too. Yeah, so patreon.com slash R-R-A-N-D-I-L-L. Also, if you want to support us and not spend money, repost the clips, uh, like, subscribe, comment on everything. Even if it's just like calling me fat and calling him retarded just do it it helps boost the algorithm it gets us in more fucking people's ears and eyes so it would be appreciated and all you gotta do is click a button so yeah tell tell one person tell to listen one person to it. and hopefully just tell someone who you don't really respect and that's fine as but. long as it's not your mom or your dog now you can tell your mom oh man butters might be down that's <laughs> true he is a wild boy uh Matthew, yes. Brentley, thank you for coming down. Love you. Love we lo- you guys have anything you need to plug? Uh, just that I um, I ordered two copies of Summer School on DVD, and they are being delivered to each of your houses on Friday. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. <laughs> I've been, that's why I've been sitting here on my phone. Sorry for being rude. <laughs> he won. He says this as I'm actively trying to unload my DVD collection. <laughs> You're about to get another one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> one door closes, another door opens. <laughs> Come on, chainsaw. <laughs> what if God was one of us? Uh, Just, so, oh, yeah. God, like one of us. And if you're at home, find out if summer school streaming anywhere and go check that shit out. Go listen to Bonnie Raitt. <laughs> <laughs> and that, yeah. I was going to quote something, but it was Melissa Etheridge. And I was like, oh, wrong lesbian. <laughs> oh, shit. Katie Lang. <laughs> I'm going to get that in all my knuckles. Wrong lesbian. <laughs> the whole lot of fingers. <laughs> That's what they like. It'd be like that. It'd be like the old toy machine logo. They call me old twiddly tinks. <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. I'm going home. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I love you more than I can say. I love you twice as much tomorrow. Love you more than I can say. Oh, yeah, yeah. I miss you, I will sing a day. Why must my life be feel so low? I love you more than I can say. Thank you.